Front hairs violated some prisoners. Has an oh. fantasy holders and old school neighbors that not be dissimilar. Unofficial that raw woolly tie. I dropped out a coolie hat dressed up by a cocaine cutie pie. Jungle survivor. Fuck who's the lava. Ugh. Let's get this shit started. Also, this song is goated. Don't even, don't even say otherwise. Da -da -da. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that was my twin brother. He was seeing some bullshit he had to respond to. I literally just got back from my girlfriend, so I put with time. Exactly. You had some you spent some time with your girlfriend, now it's time for an even better experience, which is watching your boy live on a blind stream. Nothing tops that, right? Let's, 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 let's be real on this bitch. Someone said playing crap of cortex, I see. Alright, so we got some people that don't like it. This is a blind playthrough, so. Um, Wrath of Cortex is the, is the easiest crash game, hands down. Oh, okay. I was thinking, how long is this going to take, like, based on, like, deaths and shit? Because I heard it was 25 levels like the others, but I was like, well, if I die, it's going to take quite some time. You know what I, mean? I don't know. So, we'll see what happens, you know. But, those of you who may be new to the to the channel, yeah, I've beaten the original trilogy, you know, like, and, like, CTR. I played Nitro Car as a kid, actually, but, yeah, Wrath of Cortex, I feel like I played it as a kid. But I looked at the first level and I don't recognize it, so I don't know. But I did borrow it from a friend. I actually borrowed my friend's PS2 and he had the game. So for all I remember, maybe I played somewhere in the middle of the game and I just forgot. Or maybe it was a different Crash game in the Wrath of Cortex disc. Because I specifically remember seeing Wrath of Cortex cover, so I don't know. Underrated and overbashed game, in my opinion, but I guess your twin knows that feel. I mean, I guess some games are always going to be polarizing. Are you going to make more music vids? You mean like the parodies or the discussions? You know, I haven't got any parodies planned, but I, I have got music discussions that I want to work on. And I do want to do some beat making stuff as well eventually. What's up, Flash Time? Alright. Give it like one more minute. Then we'll launch. And I've already tested the emulator, so don't worry. There's going to be no hiccups in this bitch, you know? It's just going to run smooth. But I haven't actually tested the game. I just made sure it opened. So, I played Mind Over Me to honestly enjoy it. What's up, Hunter? Well, this is blind, so we'll see how I feel. Though I'm one to have unpopular opinions, because as it stands right now, Crash 1 is still my favorite of the trilogy. Crash 3 is a close second, and then 2 comes third. Honestly, Crash 3 is not that close of a second. Like, I found the levels in 1 to be way more fun overall than 3. But, 
I put three as a close second because the moveset is so fun. Like, you slide, double jump, then you spin to glide, then use the fruit bazooka. Like, there's so much shit going on that makes three really fun to, like, play around with. Of course, Crash 2 is your favorite, really. Ugh. Always picking the, the opposite games and trilogies to me. Of course. I would have put it past you. I found this game harder to emulate than other games. I mean, I got a powerful enough PC, so I should be fine. So, let's just get into this now. Um, I've already loaded the shit in, so. Yeah, let's do the full boot. Let's give them the nostalgic opening. Yeah, boy. I finished the first World of Crash 1, and I took out the disc to play Spider-Man PS4 and CBA to put it back. Well, you guys didn't like Crash 1? You didn't like Highway to Nowhere? You didn't like Ripper Root? Come on. Don't do that to your, to the homie Crash 1. All right, loading. Definitely emulating those those disc feels. Oh, what's up? This is commentaries. You should play Twin Sanity. I think it's better. Well, as you can see in the stream title, this is the road to Crash Bandicoot 4. So we gonna be playing everything. Well, not everything, but the main shit. Like, I'm not gonna play Nitro Kart right now. I'm not gonna play. A universal interactive. I'm not gonna play Crash production. Bash right now either. I'll eventually play them at some point. Do but I need to play. Travelers too. I need to play the main shit. So I think that includes Arthur of Cortex. I think to extend the Crash Bandicoot. The Wrath of Cortex. How's the how's the volume levels before I like start this game? Don't want to go in and then people are like, oh, it's too quiet or too loud. Any reason why you're emulating the infamous PS2 version? I mean, I have a DualShock, so using PS2 controls is just easier for me. But I asked people on Twitter, and everyone was like, if you're emulating, use PS2. They said if you're using on, if you're playing on console, then Xbox or something. But if you're emulating, then PS2. All right, so volume is good. Wait, is it going to a cutscene? No, no, no. Your keyboard is acting up. Man, brother, that must explain why you put revelations over brotherhood. Must have been a keyboard malfunction over there, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, okay, I see the problem. I think my controller is not being recognized by the emulator. Hold on one sec. Let me do a quick config. It should be configured though. Mm. Detached. What do you mean detached? Shit is attached. Mm. <laughs> there is no way this thing is not in. Let's try this again. <laughs> Can definitely attest to how easy this game is. Travel sales definitely didn't grasp the design for us to be naughty dog or develop had perfected by warped. Well, everyone's saying it's easy. I was gearing up, you know, like I was like, oh shit, like how long are we gonna be here? Was it gonna be like seven hours? Is it gonna be a, a safe state situation? You know, but everyone's just like, you know, it's gonna be easy. Okay, what is going on? Okay. So the controller, because I'm running the controller wirelessly, it's doing that thing where it decides it feel it's in the mood to not work anymore. So, what we do when that happens, don't worry. There's no there's there's no technical difficulties. We just delete the drivers and then we just unplug and replug in the wireless adapter. That's it. It sets up. And it does that annoying thing where it changes the audio source. Okay. There we go. It should be working now. It should be working now, I said. Okay, so so we're gonna reopen the emulator. No, yeah, everything's working, nothing is going bad, okay? Everyone calm down. I said calm down, okay? Chill. It's all working just fine. Make sure it's working. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 it's working just fine. Everyone, everyone, chill, chill. Go on. Chill. 
Wrath of Cortex is one of my favorite mm. crash games, but that could be biased since it was my first. My favorites probably to insanity. I think the Titans games are way overhated. It's the Titans ones the ones with the weird ass design. Every time you tune, there's always something. Look, look, look! It's working now. We in, we in business, okay? Okay, okay. Now this time it's gonna work. Man, these lows. God, the disc error. Also, the game is probably, I think it's running that widescreen. I don't know if it's real widescreen or it's stretch, but given that the logos are in the middle and I can see the background, I'm assuming it's forced widescreen or something. A Universal Interactive Studios production. Also, Cortex's voice, I'm assuming they've had the same one for all these Developed years. Developed by sounds Traveler's the same. Tales. I hope they don't get rid of it. Crash Bandicoot. Alright, now we're in business. How many letters we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. P R E N U L O U. Okay. Okay, cool. Mmm. How about backspace? Mmm. Let's just go with a simple frame. They got like special characters and shit? No, okay. Just go for him. All right, we in business now. It is time. <laughs> Are you playing the car? My goal is to play the main games before Crash 4 comes out. So as for the other games, I'm not gonna say I'll never stream them. I probably will at some point, but that's not the priority for before Crash 4. So you got Uka Uka. Can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic. Damn, Uka you Uka, it's not our fault that Richard Bandicoot is to blame. <laughs> I will not let anything stand in the That's way of you. Especially not the brain of the crab, man. I don't know who voice Cortex in every game, so I don't know uh, who that clang is. Uka Uka. Need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan! Or else... Is this one of those games where you press one button on the controller and the cutscene instantly skip? I need to know just right now before I mess up. Let's skip some shit. Doctor. Haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex! Oh shit, his voice I does sound different here. referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over yeah. day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable Is this your first time playing this? Pretty much, but the power yeah. source is the final missing crucial element. Maybe I'll check out the Behind the Voice Axis website. They have all the voice axis history. Yes. I'll check out Voice Axis history there. The elementals. Do a comparison. Right. The elementals, that's it. If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret this weapon whole game to life. Before. We yeah, it felt like they did recline. Pushing mountains, demolishing entire cities. You know what I mean? Cities, it, you know what I mean? And wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the earth forever. Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling that. Also, the character just disappeared from the side. Must be a widescreen thing. We've got Coco and Crash. Wait, that's Coco, right? That's not Coco. Oh, no, it's Coco. Yeah. yeah. Crash, you're doing great. It's, I don't know if this is weird to say, but the PS1 games look better. Like, What's I don't mean like. Happening? I mean, obviously, I like them more, but like, no, they look better. Be. Like, something about PS2 graphics almost oh, feels like it's no. trying for realism and failing, where the PS1 graphics. Looked so like vibrant and cartoony that it almost Crash, aged better in a way. Maybe because I'm playing at 4K. Well, I played the PS1 games at 4K as well, if I recall correctly. Is everyone alright? It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. Your I evil must twin find brother. Out what he is yeah, planning. I know, I know that feeling. I'll meet up with you later. The game's a bit loud. Hmm. 
I was asking that one before and I was saying it's fine. I can lower it a little bit. Hello, my brother. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No schemes. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, it really went in on the story. The elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? His voice so sounds different here. I'm, 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 I'm so used to the insane one now. Back. You worry too much, brother. You cannot restrain them, Uka Uka. My they fan theory is that Rocket Force and all the other games up until finally we take place off the. After. Crash is bad ending. Oh, it's about time it takes place after the good end. Oh, I mean, everyone will try and like make their own like answers for canon in their head. Companies usually don't care as much about canon. They're just trying to sell games. When they're making a game in 2020, they pick them up the canon of 2001. Who's going to stop us? Is that a towel on Crash? Or what's he doing? Crash, Coco. It is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. If, if you we must window. find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elementals' destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each okay, elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. Well, that base this gives us voice. the ideal opportunity to test you it. Game we must hurry. Sure with OBS, you can just change from there. One or two. Well, I mean, if I use window capture, then I close the window, then I have to do it again. Whereas if I just use desktop capture, well, if I want to quickly tab out and check something, then everyone can see what I'm checking. Exactly. It's just more convenient than using window capture. The game is still overwriting your voice. All right, let me let me lower it some more. Maybe the menu is required to, because everyone was like, it's fine before, but like. Are ready and operational. Let me lower it so I like, opened up the odds in our favor. Is I even doing anything? Sounds like the same volume. Let me test. Yeah, okay, it's doing something. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Do you think you'll Still complete the game off the beat? You mean like 100% it? Hard, don't they? I don't know about that. Days are being spent on something much more I have only 100% of the trilogy yet. Meet Although I'm getting closer to 100% in Crash 1. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? Who's this crunch? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'll exterminate this field rat in no time. Field rat? Who are you talking about? Now, crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A test Wait, didn't Cortex create Crash? A real Baffalon. warrior, unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Who's your favorite DC superhero? Who are the main DC superheroes? Batman, Wonder Woman. There's a few others I'm missing. Okay, so. I'm guessing it's the Hobble. So we got one jump, a spin, a bit of delay on that slide, four lives. So is it like warped? Oh, so we got the areas, and these are the ones we can't go to yet. Okay, so we got. Ooh, look at that wall. That looks nice. So that's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's like warped. Cortex didn't create crash on purpose. Man, so they forget about C. Superman has not even been that big recently, right? Like, I mean, I remember they had a Man of Steel. I watched that in the cinema. But, like, that, I forgot about Superman. Dead ass. Like, I was like, I knew I was missing someone, but I was like, eh. Batman is, like, in my generation, Batman was way more relevant than Superman. Batman or Spider Man? Um, my favorite superheroes, like, are, like, 
overall, like not, not just DC, are Spider-Man, Batman, Iron Man, and Hulk. That's it. But to be honest, Iron Man is mainly because of Robert Downey. Because, I mean, if you just got some other random dudes to do Iron Man, it wouldn't be the same. So that's mainly because of Robert Downey. Where Spider-Man, I just think the concept of Spider-Man is so cool that even with a different Spider-Man, it could still be cool, if you get what I mean. Alright, so I'm guessing this is the boss. You're not allowed to go on that yet. We have to beat these levels first. Tornado Alley, Bamboozled, Wizards and Lizards. Wait, no, I didn't mean to start the... Uh. What are you looking at, fuzzhead? I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex really feels like from warped. my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, Ralph. Because if you do, I'm going to bury you alive. Okay, I didn't mean to go into the fourth level. I was just checking. Okay. I'm just going to go back to the warp room. Ugh. Are you getting the PS5? Yes. Um, Best Kanye West album. It's very hard to determine that because each album feels its own purpose. I had a tweet about that and I was like... Compactor reactor. I had a tweet about that, and I was basically like, each one fulfills its own like purpose. Like college stuff, I was like the most soulful. You know, late registration is the most orchestral. Like graduation is like the happiest, most motivational. A O is obviously the most depressed, sad one. And dark fantasy is like a mix of everything. And watch the throne is like the most egotistical, etc., etc. Yeezus is the most angry. So they all serve a purpose. Personally, graduation is like my favorite. Like. That one always puts a smile on my face. Um, I don't think I could put any album over graduation in terms of Kanye, except maybe Watch the Throne, but that's a collab, so it's unfair. Like, that was Kanye and Jay, like, together. So, yeah, graduation, Watch the Throne. Never played this one before. My first question was to Insanity, which I enjoyed a lot as a kid. Kanye's been teasing an album, but he does that. I don't think that album's coming out, but I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, because I want to see the album. Alright, is there anything hidden here? Look at me already looking for hidden shit. The movement feels a bit weird. I don't know if that's emulator or just input. I don't know. Alright. But yeah, I mean, there's plenty of Kanye albums that just didn't come out. Like, he was supposed to drop Yandi. That didn't happen. He was supposed to drop... Wow, that, that failed. He was supposed to drop Good Ass Job. That never happened. Alright, so far, nothing seems too out of the ordinary. Is that Aku? There we go. Does slide jumping make you jump higher here? Oh shit, hold on. I'm trying to compare the jumps. Do you think it would be good to add LGBTQ representation in games like Crash, Mario, Song? Oh, I mean, I don't really go that deep into topics. I guess people get annoyed because they feel like it's forced, but I don't know. The thing is, there's only like how many playable characters in Crash. So like, who are you gonna add? Like, Crash is playable, Coco is playable, Cortex is playable. Like, how, who are you gonna add, you know? In my opinion, it's better to just create new things that incorporate those things instead of just saying oh we could take this old thing slap this thing in and then people will like us kind of thing it's like it's like you can have a black james bond but you could also just like make a new series of like an asian who's black or something you know what i mean like there's a difference I keep thinking i can double jump but i can't why does the game feel so slow like I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to the movement. Okay, I need to get up there. Okay, so the slide jump is definitely higher. I mean, there isn't even that much heterosexual. I mean, the games aren't really focused on that. I mean, I guess Crash had a girlfriend, but I ain't seen them kiss. Mario got more action from Peach. 
than Crash has gotten from Torna, at least from what I've seen. Is the game running fine? Like, those of you who've actually played it, because I don't know why, but it just feels like... It feels like off. Like, in terms of the movement. Maybe I'm just, like, making it up, but, like, it, it feels weird. Feels like I'm playing a fan game of Crash. Maybe that's just how it is. Mario been getting cake from Peach. Barely. Are they like bonus roots and death roots and shit? Like anything colored gems and all that shit? I'm glad this game was not game. The game is slow like that. Okay, so I'm not just making things up. Maybe prefer the original game, but it seems like that. The whole floaty bullshit, that's just how it is. Okay, alright. I thought maybe there was some bug, like maybe the game was running at like, you know, 75% speed or something, like. Ugh, I wanted the Aku. I wanted to get that invincibility. Am I gonna go for these crates? Of course I am. God, the movement feels so off. Okay, these must be the roots, the, the bonus roots. Let's see what this is. <laughs> My second thought. Maybe we should. Maybe we. Maybe we should. Maybe we should avoid that one for now. Let's avoid that for now. When will you cosplay Crash? Jorts and shirtless. Hmm. I don't know about all that. Let me grab that life. I'm gonna have to get used to these. These physics. Ugh. It's not that the game is bad, it's just wasted potential. Alright, bonus route. I feel like it's missing charm. Alright, they just looked at Warped and said, okay, I guess we can do that again. But on PS2. And then they just did that. I didn't even know that there was a crate behind that. Hold on. Did I miss something here? Alright, cool. You could go get the crystal or crate stem and go back to the secret route after all the one places. Yeah, I'm not trying to do all that. You know, like, I'm going to skip that route for now. What is that animal there? Is that like a separate route? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go main My focus should just be beating the levels for now. Like I'm not trying to 100 percent on first try. Alright. But obviously if I see some crates, I'm gonna try and go for them. Yeah, this game tries way too hard to be like Crash. Yeah, it feels like that. And I was literally just playing Crash 3 yesterday. Like I I finally beat it on insane because obviously I had it um I had it insane before. See, it looks like I can go there, but I bet I can't. Yeah. Who are these elephant-looking dudes watching me? If you jump on the mammoth, you can get a life. It's risky though, since you may fall. Oh, okay. All right, I get it now. But yeah, I was just because I had um Crash Three on on what's it called? I had Insane on PS4, and they waited they waited a year to put it on PC. I didn't actually finish the game on PC until yesterday. How much of the Crash series do you play? I played the, the initial trilogy. I played CCR. I played Nitro Kart. And now I'm playing Rafa Cortex. Tornado Alley.
I played the first two games on PS1 as well, like emulated, and then I played SN Trilogy. So I haven't played Warp on emulator. So we've got a vehicle right there. So I've right, got to destroy six things, six generators. Yeah, this really feels like warped. It literally just feels like I'm playing warped, but not as cool. Alright. Ten less. We out here. If I start dying a lot, I'm gonna have to farm some life, so if you guys have any life farming advice. Oops. Missed that. I should be fine. Got 92% health. Oh shit! Someone just exploded into me. Chill with that. Should I go for the health or should I just? Okay, no, I'm just gonna finish. I'm just gonna finish. Should I go hit? Done. The Ice JJ Fish of Crash 3. <laughs> now I really want Prince to play Twin Sandy. As long as you're subscribed to the channel, you will see that before 4 comes out. It's the point in how, it's the point how little regular Crash gameplay is in the game. A lot of vehicle and gimmick levels. I mean, Crash 3 had a lot of vehicle levels as well. Not all of them bothered me, um, but it did feel like a bit out, a bit too much at times. Um, you have to 106 the game to get a shoot. I'm already worried about shoe endings right now. The GBA games, I heard there was a lot of like spin off shit. Eventually, I'll delve into that, but for Road to Crash 4, I'm probably not gonna do all that, but it's on the list of things, you know. When was the last time you raged and broke something? Um, I'm not that aggressive, so I don't be breaking shit, you know what I mean? Like, I just kind of play. Like, the, the angriest I ever got at a game, <laughs> back when Mario Maker was new, the first one, there was no Super Expert. Basically, you know, because Mario Maker, they, they sort out the difficulties by clear rate. I don't know the exact percentages, but if the level's got like 90% clear rate, it's going to be easy. If it's, say, 50% medium, and then maybe if it's under 30%, they'll put it in Expert. Which means there's levels under like 1%, under 0.5% clear rate that are super hard but because it's expert you could get a level that's 30 percent clear rate or some shit like that so you could just skip the really hard ones and then just do the kind of hard ones then they realized that people are running into too many really hard ones so they made super expert in an update and they took like that one percent and under levels and put them all in one difficulty and it was hard the first time i played super expert on super mario maker one i rage quit so hard you can still find this video on my twin brothers channel actually and i was so annoyed like i i shouted i was oh my god it was horrible is it possible to 100 percent mario maker 2 um no it's actually impossible because there's millions of levels and you can't play all of them because they're making new levels every day so and by the time, if you were ready to sit there, who is this guy? What's this guy called me? What the fuck? What was I saying? By the time you even try and beat all the levels in Mario Maker 2, the online will stop working and you won't even be able to use it because it's like millions of levels. They will, the, the servers will be off by the time you get. What is this? Okay, so we're playing pinball now, I guess. This is giving me, this is giving me flashbacks to some other. Oh my god, this thing is not easy to control. I feel like the art style of this game is missing some level of, like, vibrancy. Like, I don't know. Like, the PS1 games, yeah, they were on PS1. And it was like, yeah, it was PS1. But, like, it should look vibrant and lush. This just looks so, like, dead. You know, like, I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. So far, so good, I guess. 
Should I go there? Is that like a part I'm supposed to go to? Let me go down. Oh, there's Nitro there. Okay, that's where the hard part gets. Shows up or whatever. So, can I jump? Can I do anything but roll? There's some stuff up there, but I don't know how to get there. I'm gonna leave it. Ooh, life. So basically this is Super Crash Ball, but without the funky music. Oh, so we've got roots now, so I can go left, I can go right. This is where we went to before. Oh, so if you're 100%ing, you have to go here, get those crates, and avoid the nitro. Oh, I almost didn't go there as well. Shit. Speaking of, like, lives, now with Crash 4 having that modern mode, like, are they going to just, like, if you play on modern mode, is the Wampa basically useless? Or are they going to have it, like, a currency where you can buy things? You know? Oh, shit. Camera change. Camera change. Camera change. Chill with that. Chill with that. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Traveler's Tales. Ugh. Okay, this is just kind of like dragging out. Like, can we just get to the end now? Like, this is not, not, not much has changed. 87 crates. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end now. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. I'm just trying to focus. I don't want to, like, slip somewhere. Okay, let me grab the checkpoint first. Because I don't want to do all that again. Oh, there's nothing there. Do you cook a lot? Not really. Just wait until the sub levels. What, like, submarine? I could tell at 12 when I played that it was a step down. Yeah, like, I know a lot of people, like, when you like a game, they say, oh, you played it as a kid, so it's nostalgia. And it's like, when I was a kid, I could tell when I liked one game more than another. Like, you know, like, it's just, it's natural. Like, I've got games that I played as a kid, and they'll be like, that's only your favorite game because of nostalgia. I'm like, what about the five other games I played around the same time that I didn't like? <laughs> or that I knew I didn't like anywhere near as much? You gonna, what are you going to say about that? But when I like a game, it's, it's nostalgia blindness. Is that a night show or no? It's exclamation mark. Okay, yeah. Just had to confirm that because it was looking a bit dodge. It was looking a bit green. Oh, I got everything. Give me that. Is that supposed to be clear? Oh, in before one puts a microtransaction. They confirmed no microtransactions. I, I talked about it in my latest video, which you guys should give a watch. What's your mashed potato recipe? You take the potato, you mash it, and that's that. Does this game auto save? Because I'm assuming, I'm assuming the emulator should be saving for me. In fact, let me check. I ain't trying to lose save there. I'm gonna quickly just go to my emulator folder right now and just like. Um, save states is empty. Memory card. Okay. So I've got a memory card. I don't know if it's saving. You need to go to the save room. What? Where's the save room? Hold on. Okay, so I've just enabled a save state just in case the game wants to act up. Save at Coco. Okay, can you talk to me? I 
Oh, okay. See, if I didn't say anything and the emulator crashed, I would have blamed you guys. You should have said something. I'm lucky I asked. Alright, cool. So I don't need the save states then. Don't save state PS2 games that can fuck up the RAM. It's a bit late for that now. You mean like the RAM of the PS2 or like my RAM, my RAM? Because my RAM... Let me check my RAM. Ugh. Well, if something happens, we'll, we'll just have to restart the emulator. I've got 64 gig RAM, so I'm not too worried. Alright. Oh, shit. How far does that go? Okay, cool. I feel like the levels aren't that bad in terms of design. I just don't like the weird movement of the character. I feel like they could put this in, like, Insane as a mod. Like, put it in Crash, the Crash 3 part of Insane, and it'll just be way more fun to play. Oh, the camera just switched back. Is it going to be a, a boulder situation? You got big dick computer. If only that shit converted. <laughs> Next with the big boy RAM numbers. The RAM and the yeah, the look times are pretty long. Alright. Wow. I really didn't think I was going to land into that. Like, I stopped moving, but, like, still hit. Time is now 928, so almost 930. Well, I fucked that up. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh, I'll leave it. Which way did I come from? Oh, I'm going backwards. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, can't hit those. Oh, shit. Hits! Okay. Alright. I was having trouble seeing what was a pit and what wasn't. So I kind of just like... effed up. I really thought I was going to make that jump. Like, the pits, you don't even... I barely noticed the pits. Like, I just like... They show up and I'm like, oh, that's a pit. Couldn't even get an Arku. Okay. Alright. I went for the life just just to die. Just to die. Alright, the deaths begin. I should just fuck off all the crates to be honest. Even if it's right in my vicinity. Oh, I didn't get the checkpoint. Oh my god! Do you know what's weird? I'll, I'll say it after I finish this. Oh, are you serious? Okay. Alright. Is he gonna follow me? But that's it, he stopped. You can't spell 
frame you us without look you was weird right like when i played the chase sequences in the original trilogy i always felt like i knew where to go even the first time like yeah i still died a few times but i felt like i just kind of instinctively knew what i was doing whereas here i really couldn't see what i was doing maybe it's a field of view thing like a camera positioning thing because even like it's about time like if you notice like the field of view has been increased so you can see way more I'm guessing that's a colored gem root. Wait, so I can't jump on that without the. Oh, okay, fine. But yeah, we're gonna leave that. Whoops. Right at the end. You might want to look at my bro's latest tweet. I think he's having issues. Ugh. What's happening now? Someone was trying to go at me recently over some some bull. But you know, when I say me, I mean my twin brother, obviously. You know how it is in that community. Everything is a problem. No opinions allowed. Minus the positive ones. What did I hit? Even see that. Oh, it's the fly things. <laughs> like, purple enemy on a purple backdrop? Like, come on. Come on. These aren't even like fun deaths, like Crash 1. Like, I didn't I even see shit. I'm like, oh, there's an enemy there. I didn't even know. Having issues? I don't see where the issue is. I mean, like, no one's responded to it, so you haven't gotten any backlash. done compactor reactor innator rem game that's right oh, Japan. shake rattle and roll your bandy coop butt this feels more like gex than crash it's that same kind of stink i haven't played gex before i only heard about it in like in recent years this is basically like the Jack and Dexter, the Lost Frontier of Crash games. I haven't played Jack and Dexter since the early 2000s. Oh, so you got another vehicle level. Okay. Oh, so we can choose our parts, I'm guessing. And we don't want to choose the parts of Nitro, I'm also guessing. Oh, I thought I was going to kill me. Can I duck? Uh, oh, that didn't kill me? Left. Get that life. Mm -hmm. So we want to avoid that natural go by going to the right. Okay. This ain't too hard. So is there any way I can jump? But how I... Oh, shit, I was close. Oh. No checkpoints so far. Oh, okay, so that's just the beginning. I thought the whole level was going to be like that. Nice. Okay, he's spraying. Oh, shit! Didn't see that machinery. 
Oh. Okay. Just be careful here. There we go. I should go to 44. All this fucking machinery. Oh shit, I didn't see that. On the wall level six more so. Oh, we see how those go. Okay. Oh! Alright. Yeah, this floaty movement is really annoying. And the sound effects are so loud. Oh my god. I mean, so far, I'll definitely say the game is easier than the first three. Because the first three, I would have died way more by now. Like, I mean, I died. But, like, I'm not the same level. Backwards, so okay, okay, nitro. All right, we got Aki, we're safe for now. What would you rate this game out of 10? I mean, I'm still on the first wall. But right now, I'm feeling like a... Like a... Like a low 6. Is it just the PS2? Or the sound effects feel like lower quality? I don't know. Okay. Oh. I should have broken those. Ah, I don't care. Let's just keep going. Survival is my my priority right now. destroy a bunch of blocks that happened to me in crash 3 as well you hit that thing at the end of some of these levels and a bunch of crates get destroyed i'm like what did i just do are you anthony fantana <laughs> I, I i was hoping someone would get that oh all right let's save i trust no emulators Why does it just default to the file I'm on? Make it quicker. The switch destroys the nitro crates. Oh, okay. I just thought nitro crates didn't count towards the towards the, the count anyway, but if it destroys them, then I guess they do count. Melon you wow. Fantanuous. Well, looks like the bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, bandicoot. Finally, I get to wrap my fingers around your puny orange neck. Before you said neck, that sounded like it was gonna be like some some sex talk. About to wrap my fingers around around that, you know. About to, to dip them in, you know, move them around a little bit, you know what I mean? It's like your neck. Oh shit. Well actually neck could still be sex talk. Some people roll like that. Speaking of roll. Oh, for fuck's sake. So you got a health bar? How the fuck do I hurt him then? There's a rock there. Maybe 
Maybe if I hit that Dwayne Johnson, then maybe something will happen. Oh! For f what the fuck is this? Stop hitting me! Oh, I'm dead. What the f- Dude! I can't even get to the rocks before this guy shows up. Okay, so I guess we need three of those. Well, I'm already about to die, so... Too late. No one should help me in the chat. Unless I explicitly ask. You know, I feel like I can figure this out. I mean, I've already figured it out now. Now that I'm dead, but... I figured it out. I just gotta avoid him. And Ugh. Shit. Oh, Rock! Dwayne! There we go. Shut up, bitch. I just want my horse or <laughs> she. I'm on a horse. I'm on a horse. Take a good part look because I'm on a... F oh, shit. So he can send them as well. So when he gets them, then it's worse. Because then I can't use them. Okay, I need some. Also, oh, after a while, his stops working. Oh, I hit that. Okay, yeah. Give me that one. Give me that one. Give me that. Give me that. The physics are so weird. Oh my god, move! I got two now. Come on, I got two. Dude, I'm hitting all of them. So I have to hit them simultaneously before it counts. Because he keeps on hitting them. Oh, this is so ugh. Where's the last one? There we go. For fuck's sake. This boss is so lame. Like, oh my god. How many do I have to hit now? Four. With these physics, we're gonna be here forever. One. Two. Don't get hit by him. Three. No, two again. Oh, they don't last long enough. This boss beats you out by, like, being tedious. It's like, it's, it's not even, like, fun hard, like, keeping you, like, moving really fast and just, like... No! Oh, no, I almost had it! Oh, for fuck's sake! Thank you. This just looks frustrating. Yeah, it is. It really is. Ugh. Just sneak... Oh, we got sneak shoes. Sneak along suspended nitro crates. Hold L2 while moving. Sneak shoes the thing that made you go faster in Crash 3. They changed that. Kramer, have you played Jack and Daxter? I had a friend who had Jack and Daxter on PS2 when I was a kid. So I played a little bit of it, yeah. Cortex. Not enough to remember it well or any of the levels or anything, but I did play it. You are beginning to test my patience! Uh, uh, I'm working on a Duka Uka. Listen, Crash, you may have outsmarted Rocco, but there are three more elemental masks where he came from. And just as luck would have it, they are all significantly more powerful. Ha! I have no doubt that the water elemental, Wawa, will make sure you never see the light of day. <sighs> yeah, the water boy and I are gonna take you out. Are you trash talking after I whooped your ass? Ooh, I'm gonna rip you. 
limb from limb. Get ready for the 50 Star sound effects. Disco. Yeah, PS2 has a sound effects issue, I swear. I've seen it on games. Like, sound effects be sounding like off. I don't know, like. Um, it said previous data, and I thought it said primeless for a sec. My bad. Um, like, Dreamcast came out, what, two years before PS2? And that felt like way more. Um,. Wait, no, hold on. Done that area. Dreamcast came out two years before, and the graphics hold up way better than PS2. Jungle Rumble. Alright. That's what all videos do you beat there, else then they get coffee. Fred Bandicoot! You've got some nerve setting foot into my domain without an invitation. Who is this guy? Don't talk back to me! PS2 I'll is still the gold belt. Nah, my yours. favorite console is still the Dreamcast. Still to this day. That's a lot of it. That's nostalgia, but it's also because like a lot of great PS2 games were also on other platforms, like you know Xbox or PC. You know, whereas Dreamcast actually had some shit that I just. I mean, I guess the Dreamcast games eventually did get ported as well, but like I don't know, Dreamcast was just nostalgia for me. Like the intro, the 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 spiral, you know. Plus, my auntie stole my PS2, and I'm still salty about that. Like, she actually stole it. I never saw it again. Well, I saw it once after she stole it. But then after that, I didn't see it again. And to this day, I have not owned a PS2. It was a sad time. One day, I'll make a video on that. <laughs> so, what was that ability that I got? L2? To walk on nitro. What the? I was holding out too. Uh. Well, I don't know how that thing works then because I've tested it and I died. So it said L2. I pressed L2. He started walking really slow, and he still got hit by the nitro. It's only certain nitro. How do I know which Nitro it is? Six Gen was go to. Oh yeah, six Gen and seven Gen are my favorite gens. Period. Like literally, like six Gen. What we had in six Gen will never happen again. We had four big players. Like obviously they weren't all on the same level. PlayStation was like knocking everyone out of the park. But still. Oh wow! No! 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 Are you fucking serious? I already hit the switch. Never mind. Um. Why didn't you steal it back from any family? No, my auntie stole it. Like, how do I? I went to boarding school, right? I'm not gonna tell the full story because I'm saving this for a video. I went to boarding school. We're not allowed to take game consoles to boarding school. When I'm at home, well, when I'm obviously my parents live here in England. So when I was not in school, I would stay at her place. And then I took it there to play, and obviously I kept it there because I had to go to school. I couldn't take it to boarding school with me, knowing that when I come back for a holiday, it will be there. She took it when I was gone. It was a soccer take. It was a soccer steal. It was gone. Like, gone. Right? And yeah, the one time I did see it, she owned like a nursery. Like, she's actually kind of rich. So, that kind of annoyed me more that she was rich and she stole it. But the point is, it was one time it was at her nursery, and... I mean, I guess I could have taken it, but she drove me to the nursery, and I was going to go back to her house. So, you know, for me to just take it and go and live with her again, like, I'm just going to get in trouble, right? Like, if you're going to take it, then go somewhere else, you know? So, I was kind of fucked. Then after that, I didn't see it again. So, it's just gone, gone now. Like, no monkey ball. How's that AC3 journey? Oh, I only played it for like 30 minutes yesterday. Like, I was playing, I was finishing Crash 3 on Insane, and I said, let me open AC3. I just had to like, remind myself how it actually works, like the, the control and shit. So I'll probably do some AC3 sessions, you know, just to catch up. It only works on working on top of Nitro, which is situ so situationally doing me. Yeah, like, how am I gonna get on top of the Nitro if, like, if I'm sneaking, oh, I can jump off, I don't know. I'm not even gonna risk it to be honest. Ha! 
how would you rank the six gen consoles? Dreamcast is goated. Dreamcast is goated. Um, then PS2. I don't know. Okay, okay. If we're going off nostalgia, then it goes Dreamcast, then Xbox, then PS2, then GameCube. Because I barely played GameCube as a kid. Barely. So, off nostalgia alone, Dreamcast, PS2, then Xbox, then GameCube. If we're going off just overall, like, I mean, PS2 was pretty top-notch, but I still would put Dreamcast over it because it just felt more unique and fresh. It was ahead of its time. It, let's face it, it had better graphics than PS2 as well. It had the blue spiral with the... the, the, the mm, da, 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 like, come on, no. Like, I love Dreamcast. Like, I would still put Dreamcast at the top. But I get why people would put PS2 over it. I mean, it had the library, you know. It's just... As a PC gamer, like... The things on PS2, I just wanted to play on PC because there was like, I don't know. Like, I was not playing PS2 for its exclusives. That's probably why I don't have the, the attachment, right? Because GTA is on everything now, right? So, it's, yeah, like, I didn't... If I don't play a console for its exclusives, then I'm not going to rank it as highly. So, Dreamcast, there are a bunch of games on there that I played that were only on Dreamcast. That, to this day, some of them never got ported. Like, they ported Crazy Taxi, but they never ported Power Stone. You know, they never ported Virtua Athlete. I think they ported Soul Calibur 1. But even then, I can't be sure. Like, there's a lot of things on there that I liked playing that were on it. Like, Bomberman Online is one of my favorite games ever. Whereas with PS2, like, GTA is on everything. You know, like... I'm not saying PS2 had no exclusives, but, like, the things that I played... I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't playing most of them on PS2. God, these physics. Red Spiral looks better too. Bradley, are you British or not? Make up your mind, okay? Blue Spiral is goated. Like, oh my gosh. Like, Blue Spiral is goated. Like, this is common knowledge amongst people in the UK at least. What have you missed? Well, I beat one world of... Why is it so hard to land on this thing? Okay. Maybe that's just input, like, I don't know. I think they're all going to two. I mean, there was no bad system in 6th gen. 6th gen, the reason why 6th gen is so great is because four companies were running in harmony together. Well, not really harmony because the Dreamcast got discontinued before the Xbox even came out, but you know what I mean? Four big players in one generation. That doesn't happen anymore. Like, all of them selling millions and millions of units. You know, like, 7th Gen, it was just two players now. Well, okay. The Wii was there. I don't even like to put Nintendo in the in the, in the the same competition, like, post-GameCube. Like, because they stopped trying to be in that competition. You know, so, the only time there was four players that were all doing numbers was 6th Gen. 7th Gen, Wii was on its own track record with its own separate set of games. It wasn't even in the race with PS3 and 360. I don't even put that there. But yeah, 6th and 7th gen are still my favorite. I think they'll always be my favorite generations. The Wii beat 360. Yeah, but it's not in the same running. Like, the Wii is its own thing. It literally, it, it got that casual market so well that it's like, you know, to compare it to the others, you know, I don't know. You know, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I didn't go up with the drink or so. Well, I mean, you're a 2000s born. Like, the shit was discontinued before you could walk. <sighs> like, even I played it late. I played it, like, the year it got discontinued. Like, 01 was around the time. Like, 01, 02 was when I was playing drink cost. That was the year it got discontinued. So even I was late, and I was born 95. I'm not giving up on my heritage. I mean, to pick to pick red Dreamcast logo over blue, like, oh, blue is like my favorite color, so like, I don't know, blue and black. So like, I don't know, I, I just could not pick red Dreamcast over it. Is this one of those areas where I'm supposed to use the, the sneaking thing? Okay, cool.
No! Okay, we can still reach it. Red is your favorite color. Hmm. I see more blue than red in your profile icon, though. That's a pretty long bonus stage. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't see the pit! I didn't see the pit! I didn't see... <laughs> I swear I did not see the pit. I was just like, I was just running. Like, oh, okay, there's one more crate. I mean, oh. Okay. Wow. Am I allowed to retry that? Okay. Old one was when I got my dream class as well. It was a Sonic pack that came with Adventure Shuffle and Adventure Team Trial. It was amazing. I don't even know when you're born, so I don't know how old you were. But speaking of trials, I had the SA1 trial. I had Sonic Adventure 2 and I had the Sonic Adventure trial. So I was only playing Emerald Coast of Sonic Adventure on Dreamcast. But I had Adventure 2, which I didn't beat then because of treasure hunting. Plus the fact that, you know, I was playing multiplayer most of the time as well. So, yeah, I didn't beat SA2 until, like, the modern ports, like, the 2010s. But, yeah, like, there were so many bots on Dreamcast, like, Power Stone, Crazy Taxi, Virtua Athlete, Buster Move, Virtua Tennis, Soul Calibur. Like, that's the reason why Dreamcast has always been my favorite of the generation. Like, the games that were unique to it, you know? Like, I, like, I played GTA as a kid. But by the time I really got into GTA, we're talking like mid to late 2000s before I properly got into GTA. Not just when I played it because everyone else was playing it, just to give it a go, but when I actually fell in love with it, you know? So that's why the PS2 generation was a bit weird for me because I was m mainly on my PS2 playing shit that was also on Xbox, was also on GameCube. Oh, for fuck's sake, I missed the crate. Oh, ah. You know, I can't be fucked. I can't be fucked. I cannot be fucked. I'm just going to leave it. I'll do it later. Maybe, maybe not. I didn't get to play Street Cross in 2016. Now, but... Well, it also depends on what you're, like, who introduces you to shit. Like, I got, I got a brother who's, um... 14 years older than me so when it came to Dreamcast like he was wow I was just I was just holding down and I died but yeah when it came to to Dreamcast he was 14 years older than me so by the time he bought that in 01 he was like almost 20 that year so he he exposed me to that I played Mario because of him because of the Game Boy Pocket that he owned and basically tossed in the shed that I found when I was four and the same reason I played N64 was because of him, because I mean, I was like one when that came out. So, if you got older siblings, you kind of get exposed to certain things earlier. Like, I was using dial up back in 99, and I was born in 95. So, yeah, older siblings can make you experience things a bit sooner. What am I doing wrong? What's good, Prem? Got a favorite handheld. The greatest handheld of all time is the Nintendo DS and um, like literally I don't think any handheld will ever top the DS for me and there's a reason for that it came at the right time smartphones really took off in 07 with the iPhone it took a few years before everyone started getting it like the, maybe by the early 2010s everyone had iPhone but by like DS came out 04 to 05 depending on region so this was the last handheld device Aside from the PSP. The last handheld device before the smartphones took over. So when the DS came out, it was literally the coolest thing that you could have in your pocket. It had two screens. It had games from the DS library games from the Game Boy Advance library. I don't know if it could run Game Boy Color games. I don't. Maybe the DS Fat could. I don't know. I heard that maybe the DS Fat could run Game Boy Color games, but I'm not sure about that. But it could run DS games, Game Boy Advance games. You had Picto Chat. You had online multiplayer and local multiplayer with download play. It was the coolest device to own before smartphones. Then the PSP came and that 
filled in some other blanks, like having an actual browser, the ability to just listen to music and videos, like which was really cool. So if you had both, you were you were you were you were balling. If you had just one, I'd still pick DS because of the library. PSP, the library wasn't as cool as DS, but having that browser and using neighbor's Wi-Fi was really fun, you know. But because there was no like 3G on it, you were still limited to like internet. I mean, to to, to wireless, so you couldn't just take it somewhere and just get f internet unless there was actual like, internet in that establishment. So either way, I would still say DS was the better, like one of the two. Someone says Switch tops DS. Nah. Switch doesn't top DS. Switch doesn't top. Obviously, you can go like technically it's more powerful and yada yada yada. But the DS library is just way stronger to me than, than Switch. Switch has some bangers though. Let's not get it twisted. But the handheld was cooler at that time because there was no competitor. There was no iPhone. Like to this day, the Nintendo DS is still like in the top 10 highest selling handheld devices of all time including smartphones it's that big you know the switch can never get that because they can't rake in that casual market the games are still great you know like odyssey is great like let's not get it twisted but how do i control this thing because what's the is it circle okay i think it's circle there's like a button that's making me go faster. I believe it's circle because I died on everything else. Yeah, I literally, like, with these chase sequences, I can't see shit. Like, in the other games, I felt like I could actually see shit. Alright, let's keep going. But yeah, the Switch is cool, but, like, DS is just, like... Like... Like, because Switch is not as revolutionary. Like, I get that it's a handheld gaming system, but the DS did something that you just didn't get at that time. With the Switch, like, you can get handheld systems. Like, you can you can get, like, a portable, like, little, like, gaming device that will play games. Like, even AAA stuff, you know, obviously they're not perfect settings or anything. But when the DS came out, it was like, okay, this thing's got two screens, this thing's got this huge library of games, you know, it just, it was so, like, technology-wise, like, you could blow into a microphone, like, like, that's, that's why I think it stood out. Yeah, the 2000 to 2010, I'm afraid that's it again. Yeah, pretty much. Six and seven gen, man, like, I mean, I guess that includes late 90s as well. Okay, I'm not even focusing right now. If the Switch came out in 04, it would have been... Exactly. It's the same reason why the Wii sold so well. It's about revolution. The Wii was re more revolutionary than the Switch because motion control, I guess, had been done, but it had never been done on that scale. You know, I guess technically, Sega did motion control first with the Sega Activator, which you should check out my video, the Sega Activator. That was a good video. Someone in the chat... Please link the Sega Activator video. Like, I'm trying to shamelessly plug out here. I, oh my god, I'm not even. Oh, I can't even see where I'm going. It's like they tried to copy the trilogy with the chase sequences, but it's like I really cannot see shit. And like in the chase levels, I feel like I had some kind of like intuition, like I know where I'm going kind of thing. Here, I really have like barely any time to react to shit. Oh, they gave me an offer. Alright, cool. That video was great. Yeah, the only problem is because my channel is so small, people aren't searching for my content. So... Yeah, if I had actually done the bonus route properly, I probably could have actually, you know, gotten there. But yeah, like, because my channel is small, people aren't searching for my videos. So if I do something a bit different and it's not searchable, it doesn't do as well in terms of performance. The Xbox Series X is revolutionary, isn't it? I mean, I don't think any of these next-gen systems are truly revolutionary. They're just more powerful systems. Like, I don't think there's a revolution here. Like, they run newer games, I guess. Like, there's no, I, don't, I don't know. There's not much I can say that's revolution. 
But I guess the SSD thing, like that PlayStation's got, like the loading times are gonna be eliminated. But I mean, PC has had SSD for ages. It's just because they had to design games to run on like inferior hardware that we haven't gotten that. So we've been ready for this shit for ages and just waiting for consoles to catch up. You know? I think tech went too far. I don't know how a revolutionary console will happen. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's. I think we're past the point of revolutions, like, because the motion controls proved that. Like, everyone thought the Wii was gonna be the future. Then we played it, and we're like, no. Then everyone thought Kinect was gonna be the future, back when it was still called Project Natal. And then it came out, and it's like, oh, like I did. I thought at one point that we were going to just be like playing games like standing and moving ourselves like this is the future and then no we still want our controllers with our analog on our face buttons and it's just like okay it's the same shit we don't want that change we just want more graphical horsepower we just want higher frame rates higher like we just want fun games like i guess vr is there i don't think vr is going to become more mainstream than regular gaming but it's there seashell some shenanigans I'm a copper PC GTX 2070 with 16 gig RAM. Is that stronger than a PS5 or not? Just make sure you get an M.2 NVMe SSD. Don't like it's 2020 now. We gotta be off the hard drive shit. Okay, this is giving me flashbacks to to Crash 3, which I didn't like these levels in Crash 3, so I'm probably not gonna like them here. Look at that guy with the. Did I really get hit on that? I spun him. Okay. We're in for some shit, boys. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need some focus for this level. Oh shit. Oh, okay, I can hold those. Oh, Nitro! Nitro! Oh, I can't even stop myself. I, I was spinning! Ugh. Yeah, like, next gen, I'm not, like, I'm not overly hyped about next gen. Like, consoles, like, there was a time. Not to play another back in my day, but back in my day, consoles were more powerful than PC. So they were like the ones that pushed everything forward and we had to wait for them to like give us the next the next cool shit, right? But now that PCs are just consistently more powerful, it's like, okay, I've got a PC. I'm not really thinking about how hype I am for the next gen because it's like, I just want the games, right? Just give me some cool shit that makes me want to buy a PS5, which they, they gave me Spider-Man. And it's like, yeah, like they gave me rat shit. Like I'll play them. You know, but like it's not the same level of hype as it used to be when I was a kid thinking about like PS3. Oh, I feel like I don't even have control of this character. Like I can't, I can't do no precise movement. If I see an enemy, I can't just like dodge. It's just like it's so stiff. Oh fuck the crates. Ah, oh, I'm stuck there. I have to go down. How does he drop so fucking fast? Oh, please give me a fucking checkpoint. Right. What the? I just got to the... <sighs> I know you said it before, but it's still true. Consoles die when they stop being plugged on. Exactly. Consoles are supposed to be the simplicity thing. Like, like N64 is a perfect example. You slap that cartridge, okay, wait, no. You blow the cartridge, you slap that cartridge on, you turn on, game starts, that's it. That was what consoles appeal was, simplicity. Nowadays, you have to get games digitally. You buy them physically and it's like, okay, well, not the whole game is gonna be on the disc, it's gonna download the rest of the game. So now you have a digital game because discs are too slow nowadays for running games, so it has to be on, on the console. So now you've got a digital game, but it's still tethered to the disc. You have to leave the disc in to play it, 
because they don't want you to just sell the disc off and keep the game. So they force you to keep the disc in, even though you've downloaded the game to the console. So physical is even less convenient now than digital. It's it's ridiculous, you know. So it's just like I don't know. Consoles became more complicated. I mean, I guess if you go all digital, then and then it's then it's fine because everything will just be on your on your system, on your account. But like, I don't know. Consoles lost their simplicity. I guess they're still simpler than PC, but not as much as it used to be. You have to get expandable storage for your consoles. We do that shit on PC. Like, right? there's multiple variants of consoles now. You know, obviously there's multiple variants of PC, a lot more than consoles, obviously, but still. I don't know if I can kill that guy, so I'm trying to avoid that guy. This is probably the first song in the game that's kind of, like, stuck out to me. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Ugh. 18 crates. Am I that far? Give me that life. New video graphics cards are coming out in a few months as well as the audio and the cards. Maybe we'll see what they're like for buying. Are the attacks delayed? I don't know. It feels like it. I remember when I got a Switch for the first time, it was so confusing to understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, you switch the controller and all these things. Like, you know, I don't know. Let's wait and see how the SSD and PS5 will affect the loading. Well, if you've seen the Ratchet and Clank game, um, they, like, jump from one world to another in the middle of gameplay. Like, it's no loads. So, if you want to even use expandable storage on the PS5, they have an exact spec of which ones you can get. You're going to have to get some M.2 shit. Can I break TNT while I'm underwater without, like, hurting myself? Well, I'm not, I'm not, okay, I got a checkpoint, so I'm just going to try it. Okay. Because Crash obviously has 3D levels, I keep thinking I could just go forward here and just go to wherever that area is. But then I have to remember that I'm still locked to a 2D plane. They're hyping up a lot of stuff and it's insane graphics and load times. We wear the PC. Yeah, I mean, they're always hyping shit up. We know that's not going to be better than PC. Obviously, if you've got a cheap PC, then yeah. Because they sell consoles at a loss and make the money back off like online and game sales and shit. They know that if you spend like 400 on a console, it's gonna be, it's gonna be worth more than 400 on a PC, most likely. So that's why they can get away with saying those things. But in reality, it's like, you know, it's not gonna be more powerful than a PC that actually costs more. And if you're willing to go second hand, you can probably get a PC that's more powerful than a console. And because a console lasts like seven years, it may be more powerful than a PC of the same price when it's new. But then, like, two years later, you could pay the amount that you would have paid for that console, and you would have gotten a way more powerful PC. So, all these things add up. Is another one going to drop? Or is it just one? Oh, we don't go... I thought I was going down. Didn't know I was going this way. Okay, another vehicle. Look at that. These stages do have a lot of hidden form objects, most of them not the most fun. Yeah. PS2 action playing games were great. Looking forward to the new one. PS4 reboot was disappointing. Oh really? What did you not like about the PS4 reboot? I actually bought it and then I never played it. I think it's still in the wrapper. Not because I didn't want to play, I just never got around to it. It was literally still in the wrapper. I think when I got my PS4, I was looking for like games that I thought I'd like, so I got it. I just never got around to playing it. I got a lot of game backlogs though. So. I'm in a machine and yeah, I'm still like using Arthur. That's a bit weird. Oh shit, I can drop bombs. See that shit. What did you think of Lighter? 
I tried the game one to set up. Which game is Lyle? Did your perception on this game change playing it again? Was it around the same? I can't even tell if this is the game I played. I remember seeing Wrath of Cortex because I borrowed my friend's um, PS2. I remember seeing Wrath of Cortex on the cover. Like, I recognize that name. But I'm starting to think maybe I didn't play this one. <laughs> maybe it was a different one. You know. What's the one that came after this? Oh my god. Sorry for saying this a lot, but would you be up for a sparky electric? Electric just a three in the style of Unleashed. I mean, um. Spot the Electric Jester electric 2 is inspired by games like Sonic Adventure. And I feel like, as good as Spot 2 was, the, the formula has not been perfected yet. There's more they could do. Most of it is due to just it being a one-man show and not like a full-budget game. But I still think there's things that could be refined there to create a more definitive experience. And I don't want them to pull, you know, a Sonic team and just do one formula and just move on to the next one and instead of like refining it, you know. I feel like there's so much more he could do with what he's got with Spark 2, you know. If he had a bit more time, a bit more budget, maybe more employees. Like, there's so much that could be done there that to just like switch it and just say I'm doing a, a, a boost game now feels like, just, you know, feels like a waste. Thoughts on the game so far? Wow, just hit Nitro. Wow, uh, I guess that was, that's, what's this, that, that's what this is for. Um, thoughts on the game? Oh my gosh, for fuck's sake. I'm feeling a high five. I don't know. Ah. I mean, I, it's probably best not to ask me while I'm playing this level. <laughs> Maybe let's wait a bit. I feel like if they remade this game, it would be way more fun. Because they could take it, like, slightly tweak some things. I don't want to be one of those guys that says, remake a mediocre game and change, like, half of it and make it into a good game. Like, if you don't like the game, you probably shouldn't ask for a remake. But hypothetically speaking, I guess if it had like more like you know trilogy crash control and a few tweaks to level design, it could be it could be decent. But it still feels like a Crash 3 ripoff in a sense. Like the original trilogy, they were similar, but they were also distinct from each other. This just feels like we can make Crash 3 too. Yeah, we don't need you, naughty dog. Go and make your Uncharted. Go and make up the last of our spot. We don't, we don't need you. We'll get Traveler's Tales. They made Sonic 3D Blast, right? We don't need you. They made Sonic 3D Blast. Like, you, th you think we need you, Naughty Dog? <laughs> they made Sonic 3D Blast. Come on. Oh, what's on the left there? There was a checkpoint on this side, of course. Of course. Of course. Prem, what, what, what GTA is your favorite out of three Vice City and San Andreas? Um. Ah, uh, I think Vice City was the best out of those three. But let me like bear in mind, I haven't finished any of those games. We used to dick around in GTA for hours with cheats and shit. We never actually properly played them, like beat all the stories. We literally just used to dick, used to dick around. So. Based off dicking around, 3 was the most nostalgic. Honestly, I loved 3 the most because of like the amount of hours you put into it. But Vice City was fucking lit. Vice City was lit. San Andreas is cool too, but I didn't feel the same attachment to it that I did as 3 and Vice City. But I would, I would have to go with 3. 
Maybe just because it had that OG revolutionary feel. Because honestly, GTA 3 is like GTA 1. That's the way it's seen. It was just... It, it did so much for GTA. Like the, No one talks about the previous games. Why can't I go here? Freedom Planet 2 is in Vita, will you play it when it releases? I guess I could. Vice City is the one for me. Yeah, like I don't blame someone for putting Vice City over 3. I just feel like 3 was the first one I really got into, and it just stuck with me so much. 3 is the perfect example of, you know like, because all these like modern day games are like, our hub worlds are, our open world is this much bigger than the previous one, and it's like, okay, but what can you do in it though? The three and Vice City were like the perfect example of the world isn't that big, but I like knowing where everything is and everything feels like interactive. Like, I mean, obviously, you can't just walk into every building, but like, knowing the world, even if it's a small one, is better than just having, oh, the world is massive, but it's all bland anyway. Like, it's like, okay, cool. Oh, we're gonna be here forever. We are going to be here forever. Oh my god. The PS4 Ratchet reboot just felt so bland the same compared to the original. It lost its edge and spot. The story was nowhere near as good and the gameplay is less strategic or challenging. Hmm. The Spyro me remake was shit. I mean, what didn't you like about the Spyro remake? Are you saying it as someone who is comparing it to the original and saying it's shit as a remake? Or are you just saying it's shit, period, like the game? Can you, like... What the... Dude! I need to get some strepsils because my throat is starting to act up from all this talking. Ugh. If you do YouTube or streaming, you need this shit. This shit just like warms up your throat. You ain't got a tongue to do it for you. I think we're supposed to face the screen of Coco. You be, you be in the main game in one stream. Hopefully, yeah. I want to be done with it. Spyro was better in Skyliners. Oh, God. That's, that's a bad take. Isn't Skyliners that shit for kids? That shit looks dead. I mean, Spyro's not my favorite franchise. I'm not really a collectathon guy, to be honest. Well, let's not go that far. Bonsai, bonsai. These tiles are nice, though. Leave my levels alone. He just came and told me just leave his levels alone. That was it. Oh, Coco. I didn't see that coming. I find it really hard to intro OG Rash or the Wii when the OG doesn't have the new weapons up. Mm. I prefer Crash to Spiral. Oh yeah, same. I love linear games, I've realized that now. I like Reunited Trilogy with 3. It was a letdown because it was the least polished. Mm. Favorite Pac-Man game? I haven't played any of those like platformer Pac-Man games, so... Is that a spin, really? That's all you could come up with? Come on, Traveler's Tales. My jump is so stiff. It's not even feminine looking. She just kind of leaps off the air and it's like, oh shit, we need to add an animation. Oh, let me start looking like I'm jumping. Hmm. So she doesn't have a slide. Okay, 
what the fuck is that? I mean, come on, that jump animation is shit, chat. Look, look at that. It's like the character starts moving up and then the animation goes, oh wait, I need to look like I'm jumping. Let me like move my knees up and shit. Come on. She like flies off with like, it doesn't, it doesn't look like any effort's been put in to like leaping off the ground. She just leaps and then knees move. All right, where were we? This song could get sampled though. You could speed that shit up, make a serious trap banger with this shit. I need to do some beat making streams, real talk. I know you guys want to see them beat making streams. Don't back down from your boy right now. I know you want to see them beat making streams. I could flip this, this, this track right now into a trap banger. You'd hear that shit, you'd be like, spamming young boy on Twitter like get on this Is that ground or pit okay okay what is this what intonation is this Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? I mean, should have reminded me of that because this came first. There was this game I played on my channel a while ago. Some of the OGs remember it. I've forgotten the name of the game, so even I don't remember it. But it was like this weird mix of like Crash and Sonic, which was kind of what I titled the video. It was this platformer that blatantly ripped off like Crash and Sonic. And it was just... It was Booty Cheeks, it was an indie title. I can't remember the name, but if you go to like the earlier videos on my channel, you will see it. I'd love to see you remix if you don't some good Yeah, I need to do a beat making stream, honestly. I mean, I wanted to do videos of these kind of things, but because a video, if it takes you like two, three hours to make the beat, you can cut it down to like the best moments and like, you know, just show that. But with a stream, I guess you could just interact with the chat anyway, so it's not as bad. I'll probably try both. I'll probably try a video and a stream. Maybe I'll do a poll or something, I don't know. I have to remember that I can't slide because that kick is us. It's so, it's just so weird, like, the PS1 games look better, even though they are older. They just age better graphically. I'm sure when this game was new, it looked better. But, like, when you look at, like, how all these graphics have all aged, and then you think about, like, art styles, it's just, like, they were more colorful. And colorful, like, vibrant graphics will always stand out over, like, this, like, trying to be realistic, but it looks really gloomy in the process. All this for a life, really? Was it the one you played in dreams? No. Tiny Hands Adventure, yes, that was it. No, not Bobsy, come on. I, you can't forget the name of Bobsy. That's that's the homie. That's Bob. You can't forget Bobsy. This Tiny Hands Adventure, that that video, that shit was us. Honestly, I'd probably rather play that than this, because at least I can, you know, be like, it's a fan game or it's an indie title, so it has an excuse, you know, <laughs> like, it's us, but it's it's a ripoff, whereas this is like an official ripoff, because it's not a Naughty Dog game, but it's officially sanctioned by whoever owned Crash at the time, because that shit... Crash was just slotting around in the 2000s. Like, who owns him now? Like, this person's got him, this person's making the game. Like, I don't even know.
A lot of PS1 games in general are still the test of time significantly better over the majority. Yeah, like N64, like those graphics just don't be holding up. I swear. And I grew up in that era. I had an N64. N64 graphics don't hold up. PS1 has a look to it that makes it hold up in a nostalgic sense. Dreamcast holds up decently as well. Even Xbox holds up pretty decently. But PS2 doesn't hold up as well, in my opinion. Um, even GameCube, because they had a lot of colorful games on the GameCube, so GameCube holds up decently as well. But N64, PS2, those graphics will be holding up the same. Obviously, it's a bit generalization y right, because it's a whole console. It depends on the game, but still, like, it just felt that way, you know? Can I do the sneaking thing? No, she can't do that. Okay. I did that wrong. Fran, what do you think of the N64? I grew up on N64, so... I love N64. I mean, I didn't play that many games on it, but F-Zero X is one of the greatest races of all time. And the best F Zero game. Obviously, Mario Kart 64 is my childhood. Like Mario Kart 64. Wow, I did that wrong. Oh, Bradley with another take. I mean, N64 passed the generation, so you're just being unfair to it. But N64, Mario Kart 64 was so fun back then, like. It's one of those games where, like, as much as I said the N64 graphically just didn't age well, like, I feel like I could still play Mario Kart 64 right now and still be like, this looks nice. It's one of the exceptions. But obviously, it's the really, like, colorful game. Because it has those weird sprite models or whatever, it just kind of... It's still it's still nice to look at, I believe. Although I showed <laughs> my niece and nephew. They were born in the 2010s. Um... I was telling their parents that they should consider getting them a Switch because they would like it. Because uh, before that, my nephew had a 3DS, you know. So I was like, they're playing Nintendo. They like Mario. They, you know, watch the Sonic movie. I was like, it's, they, you should buy them a Switch, you know. Get them Mario Maker, get them Mario Kart, you know. And she ended up getting them a Switch. And they they came over here and they're like, we, we play Mario Kart now. I was like, oh, you play Mario Kart. I was like, let me show you what we used to play back in the day. I showed them some, some images of Mario Kart 64 and they were like, oh, that's disgusting. I'm like, this was the shit back then. Okay, I didn't say it that way, but I was like, this was this was good, you know. Oh my god, the TNT. What do you think of Five Nights of Freddy's? I've never played that shit and I cannot be fucked to it. Shit looks dead. Like those clicking games and shit, like, I don't know, shit looks dead to me. Oh my god, what's your favorite Mario Kart? Um, I feel like I have to say 8 Deluxe, but honestly, DS is my favorite. I have to say 8 Deluxe because I think it's the best one. But when it comes to the nostalgia and and just how revolutionary DS was at the time. Like, these are my top three Mario Karts. Because I feel like they had the biggest jumps in like improvement over their predecessors. 8 Deluxe, um, DS, and 64. They all had the biggest jumps over their predecessors. I mean, DS came off the Super Circuit, so the bar was not high. But still, it, it still advanced, like, growing up on 64 and then moving to DS, the jump was huge. And going from, like, after, like, DS, I didn't feel like the cart, they were getting that much better, to be honest. Like, I just felt like DS had set a bar, and the games after it didn't touch it. Wii, I felt like, was overrated. Double Dash, I thought, was overrated. And then 8 came along, and I was like, okay, they got something here, but it's, it's missing some shit. And then 8 Deluxe came out, I was like, okay, yeah, Deluxe was top DS. Like, it's the definitive Mario Kart now. I still, like, my preference is still DS, but I accept that 8 Deluxe has passed it now. 
You know, it didn't have a mission mode though, so, you know, but still. I was not that, I wasn't What's your favorite Smash game? I barely play Smash, so for me to have a favorite, it would just be like grasping things out of thin air. But me and my friends just did used to play Smash 64, so there was some nostalgia there, I guess. But, you know, I don't really have a favorite Smash game. But I guess I did like the simplicity of 64, but that's just because I wasn't a huge Smash player to begin with, so I didn't care about like the, the insane tech of Smash. game like I can barely tell what's a hazard and what's a background like those fire things there look like hazards but I almost thought it was just a background element what the fuck didn't I hit the nitro it's not like I can hit the nitro <sighs> yeah why do I even bother how was I supposed to hit that nitro which do you prefer CTR or MK8 Deluxe oh I don't know. It's a tough one, actually. Why am I hitting it? It's a tough one because... Um, because Mario Kart came out way before CTR, I've kind of gotten a bit tired of it because they've been riding 8 for so long now. Like, I played 8 for years and years and years. And then they added... Wow. I'm all the way back here. I've been playing 8 for years, and then they added 200cc, they added like 2 DLC packs of levels, like I've been playing 8 like since I was in uni, so when they added Deluxe and finally fixed some of the problems I had with 8, it was like, yeah, this is what we want, but like, I didn't play Deluxe as much, because like, I grew up, I, I grew up, but I played so much of 8, you know, so, I don't know, by the time Nitro Food came out, I was just happy to have something that was different. So at that point, I feel like I would have put Nitro Food over 8, just because, oh, it's fresh, and it's a whole new formula, because I didn't grow up on, on Crash Racers, except maybe a little bit of Nitro Kart, because they ported that to iOS, but not that much that I played it. So it just felt like it was so fresh, that it was hard for me to... It was hard for me to put it, like, you know, below Mario Kart. But I don't know. Imagine by the time we get the next Smash, you'll be like 10 years older. What's your favorite Ninja Turtle? I don't think I've watched the Ninja Turtle movie. These levels are just. Oh my god, they don't end! I'm seriously wondering if childhood me would have liked this. Wait, so because I landed on the TNT, I didn't jump on it, it didn't count? What two boxes did I miss? Okay, that's one. What one box did I miss? I'm a bit mad at that. Like, if it was like 10 boxes, then whatever. But like, one? Ugh. God, this game just keeps dragging. How long is this for? Almost two hours. No, we'll try, we'll try and finish it. At the most, if every... I can't even say that. If every wall took an hour and there's five walls, that's a five hour stream. I mean, I guess that's doable. Maybe I should just be ruthless and just say fuck the crates and just like, you know, just run through everything. If I did that, I'd definitely be done within like a few hours. But I'm just too stubborn. I see crates, I want to hit them. The skiing, the sinking feeling.
Ugh. Okay, a vehicle level. Normally, I'd be like, uh, vehicle level, but at least it's a change of pace from those other dead levels. Okay, what am I doing? How do I shoot? How the fuck do I shoot? Which button allows me to shoot? Nothing is shooting. What the fuck is this? You gotta hold in, then let go. What does that mean? Hold in what? Holding my breath? Oh, is it that radar thing? Hold on, okay. Let me see. Okay, this is really fucking... This is like... This is chaotic. Like, we're almost venturing into Bobsy 3D... Tell... You know... We're almost venturing into Bobsy 3D, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Territory of, of odd. Oh my god, you're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe this, right? <laughs> I was chasing the ship, because they said I have to get six of them. But the one I was chasing was the one that was part of the HUD. So I kept turning right to try and get it. And I was like, why does it keep getting away from me? And not realizing it was, it was just part of the HUD. It was just the ship in the HUD. It wasn't actually on the area. Oh my god. I actually thought it was a part of the area. Yeah, I don't like the shooting system at all. It's really weird. Alright. Now let's find the actual ships I'm supposed to be. Oh my god, this is fucking shit. Alright, oh, got one. I'm about to die. Didn't I just hit that? What the fuck? Okay. I'm holding it and it's still like... I just... Uh... This is... Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna need that life. Oh my god! This sh why is why is the shooting mechanic so shit? What? Why can't I just shoot? What is this dumb aiming system? Like, it makes no sense. Like, if you're gonna copy Crash 3, at least copy the shooting mechanic. I'm trying to shoot, but like I have no time before they just come at me. Like, who thought this was fun? Like, I just 
shot that. Why is he not? Why is he not gone? I just shot you, why aren't you gone? You have to shoot them three times, wow. <sighs> they might as well put health bars on the ships then. You have to shoot them a certain amount of times, I'm dead. Worst crash ever war in the Linda games. Crash ones that was at least gave you time to I swear, like I don't know, this is just Health has a delay on it, like you hit it and it just take, takes ages. How is that thing not the I swear I hit that thing like five times. Are you serious? And they want me to destroy six of these fucking things. gonna go in circles and just keep hitting them. Oh my god. I'm dead. I am dead. The, the health things respawn, because if so, maybe I have a shot of this. Finally, I got one. Finally, I got two. I'm just gonna keep going in circles. I'm not gonna spend time trying to hit one. The moment I got health and I just got hit again. Okay, I'm about to die. Any more health? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm making some progress. Oh shit, it's one left. Oh, where are you? Oh, thank you. It took me 30 attempts to finish this. Another death income. Oh, it looks like someone didn't have faith in your boy. Looks like someone didn't have faith in your boy. No amount of ass cheeks. Gameplay is, is a match. When the power of the Rem Gang is back in me. Oh. I thought I was supposed to like talk to Coco, but it's like. You literally just like. Oh, it says load save on the screen. Okay. Yeah. So you like stand here. Rem Gang in the house. That's right, we're about to finish the second wall. H2 Ono. Oh no! They're gonna have to hang you out to dry when I get through with you! So right now it's taking me an hour per wall basically, so I'm two hours into the stream. Obviously minus some time for setting up the emulator and just like warming up. How did you not notice? Oh, another one of these. Oh my god. We just did a vehicle level. Give me another one. I've 
got this crazy theory, but what if Primus and Primus are the same person? If you mouse, you'd know that we're completely different people. Completely different. Like, what kind of, like, what kind of ridiculous theory is that? Next you're gonna say Hannah Montana is the same person as... What was the name of her, like, regular character name when she wasn't Hannah Montana? See, I, I couldn't even land that joke because I forgot what they call her when she's not Hannah Montana. I don't mean the actress's name, I mean like a regular schoolgirl name in the show. I didn't even see the TNT there. Cyrus. Primly Cyrus. Wow. Cyrilus. Mileyless. Do you know what this game feels like? It feels like. It feels like an SNES game. Like, you know, like Donkey Kong Country, like, it feels like an SNES game that looks like Donkey Kong Country that they decided to just, like, remake on PS2, and then this is what we got. But they remade it, like, verbatim. Miley Cyrus was her name, too, in the show. Oh, okay. No! You see, like, so if you get there, you're in the middle of that thing there, and you realize that this thing is falling on you, you are trapped, because the TNT is there. So by the time you get there and realize, oh, I'm trapped, I need to get out, you have all this TNT in your way. And you have to wait for it to get destroyed before you can keep moving, like, ugh, this level design is so mad. said beats are correctly. What are you talking about? Ugh. I always say beats are correctly. What are you, what are you what about? I mean, beta is not incorrect. It's just an American pronunciation. You know? So it's not technically wrong. It's just for a Brit to be claiming beta over beta and claiming red Dreamcast over blue Dreamcast logo, it seems a bit unpatriotic. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, but I mean, I've, I've I've done a few unpatriotic things. I didn't grow up in the the Mega Drive Genesis era, but you know, I always thought that Genesis was a cooler name than Mega Drive. Anyone who grew up with that system would see me as a traitor for that. But because I didn't grow up with it, I don't have the the connection to it. Oh, thank you. No more of that bullshit. Oh, some actual level now. Got me excited to play an actual level for once. Oh, is that toxic liquid? Oh shit. How many times are you gonna roast me today? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me be nice. Let me say something nice. What nice thing can I say? I like Revelations more than AC3. There you go, I said something nice. Am I gonna waste my time getting this light? How many lights do I got? This is why I don't want to waste my time getting alive. This is why. Uh, if, if that checkpoint was back in the water, I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. These enemies aren't even as much as a threat as they used to be in the original game. The original game was like, oh my god, like... Wow, 
Wow, I got roasted after saying that the enemies weren't a threat. Well, that's my bad karma. I deserve that one. And it was right next to a checkpoint as well. Revelations is better than one. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But I mean, one was pretty basic compared to even two, so, you know. Better than Brotherhood. Um, I'm sorry, but nothing fills that shoe. I don't know what game we're talking about. Nothing's better than Brotherhood. There we go. I really thought I was gonna land that over the over the crates. Who in the right mind says Revelations? But yeah, Bradley thinks Revelations is better than Brotherhood. Now you can roast him for me because I'm tired. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, you see the game just flash there. The game better not crash on me. I jump. Uh, this jump is fucking weak. I bet the team who made this was so proud. Like when the game came out, they're like, "Yeah, we fooled them into thinking." That this is of naughty dog quality, like this is basically the same as the others. They were, they were patting ourselves on the back. Yeah, it's basically like the other ones. It has, it has the hobs. It has all the other shit. You know, like we really, we really did it. I hit the checkpoint so I can try this. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. Crash two is the weakest of the crash trilogy, in my opinion. Exactly, I would agree, Callum. One and three are better. Eighteen lives. I'm starting to run low on these. Playing the mobile ports of. <laughs> I should probably just stop doing the bonus routes to be honest. I'm not gonna 100% this thing. Oh, there was a pit. I didn't see the pit there, honestly. I did not see the pit there. Keep laughing. <laughs> oh, Revelations is a great game, okay? It's just, you know. It's not Brotherhood. I forgot again. I thought there was ground there. I swear. I swear. I keep landing there safely like there's ground there. It's not. It just looks like ground. So I'm saying that everything blends in. The water is blue. The the ground, I mean, the wall of the ground is like grayish blue. Like, all looks the fucking same. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to even see the fucking difference? Shit just blends in. Shit fucking looks the fucking same. Trying to 100% crash four scenes, but I'm never doing that. I was literally spinning. Are you serious? I'm back. Oh my. Oh my fucking god. Uh. 
Usually when I rage in Crash, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a somewhat happy rage. This is just rage. Like a, it's, it's like a disappointed rage. Like really. Uh. I don't even trust the spin. Like his radius is shite. So yeah. Are there any bridge levels? A good one, game of God. I would play the bridge levels twenty times before I keep playing this. Oh my God, it's Ice JG. <laughs> oh. Game of God, have you beat this game? Rain damage. When people talk about remaking this game. They can't make this game as good as they choose to. Ah, exactly. Get over here, you little orange For them to body. remake this, they'd have to change it to the point where it's not a remake. We're gonna ring you out. Fell off a crash off the walk. That sounds like you. I don't blame you though. Did you play Crash Team Racing though? Like when that was new. Oh shit. What is this? What the fuck is this? I guess I'm supposed to get to it. I guess that's not how we do it. How am I supposed to dodge that while I'm jumping on the platform? And the platform's full! What kind of design is this? The platforms are falling. I can't stand on them, but you're shooting lasers at me. So I'm supposed to dodge the laser, but... What kind of design is this? This, this has got to be the shittest thing ever. There and he just still clapped my ass anyway. Fuck. What these bosses want from a nigga. What do you want from me? I got there. Yeah, this is fucking ass. Because when I even when I get there, he's just gonna obliterate me anyway. Why the fuck am I even going there? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. On some DMX shit. Wow. I was hoping you'd go for the original reference, the actual DMX reference, not the Drake version, but you know. I don't know what this boss wants from me, because when I get there, just drawing back what I miss a lot of pain. What does this boss want from your boy? Alright, chat, you can snitch now because I really don't have the patience to figure this one out. I 
think you just slightly missed the spin attack. But I did, I spin attacked him, I swear. It's like the moment I got there, he just, he just clapped me. The spin attack radius on this thing is like so tiny, like I swear, like if you're not, if you're not, t it's like infrared, like trying to send data over an infrared phone. Those of you guys who remember before phones had Bluetooth, you had to like, the phones were like touching like this to send the file. That's how this shit is. It ain't saying it's like, you spin with a decent radius, you still hit it. Be more center. Okay. Game my guy laughing, but <laughs> I want to see you play this. I wasn't even touching the laser. It's like the attack, their radius of attacks is fucking ridiculous, but my my spin attack don't do jack shit. I, I like, I couldn't even land there. I was. <sighs> you have insane trilogy on a switch. Oh, so that counted. Me. How did it hit me? This is fucking ridiculous. I bet if I leave, frame will stop. Probably, probably just a bad luck charm. <sighs> it's the one thing I miss about manual save is this shit. You like there we go. It's the one thing I miss about manual save is I can just like go back and load a file and get my lives back. Wait, no, not metal thing. Alright, <laughs> he said he's gonna bounce for 15 minutes to see what happens. Ah get over here, you little orange sponge! Cause we're gonna ring you. Ugh. Five hour stream about to be. Ugh. me into RPGs. Um, I don't think I've... I don't know. How did I not land I, I was holding forward. And I hit him. him it was not the radius on that thing is fucking ridiculous I am so appalled by this fucking radius it was not touching him god oh my fucking days oh my god Pause that shit, for fuck's sake. Oh, my eyes are acting up. Or maybe they're just real tears. Ugh.
use save states. Nah, I'm being it legit. I'm only using cheese if it's in the official game. Am I supposed to crouch under that? Legitulous. Exactly. Even though this game is a ROM on an emulator, the Legitulous still fits. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me just load my file again because I don't want to go back to six lives. The green one is supposed to. Yeah, I figured that much, but sometimes you're already in the air when it hits and it's like, okay. Okay, those of you guys who know the crash, like, lore and. Well, not the lore, but like the background of shit. Why did Naughty Dog stop making Crash games after Crash 3? What was their reason? What happened? Like, usually it doesn't happen. Like, Nintendo just don't decide to stop making Mario games. Like, oh, right. get over here, you little why would they just say, oh, we're done. We're done with off off 3, like... We're gonna ring you out. It was a contract. You gotta take your time. If you're moving too fast, you mess up the timing. I tried going slow, but I was playing even worse, though. That's the thing. I don't know, like... How can I take my time when the platforms are falling as well? Like, that's... The platform's falling is why I can't pace myself. Bad working conditions. Mm. So when you say it was a contract, they never owned the IP basically. They were just well, contracted to, to make the games and they made it and then they said, okay, well, we're done now, we're dipping. Should have slide jumped. Should have slide jumped. Pretty much got the first part. I said as I died. The first part, I just gotta go for it. I can't do that jump. I can't jump that too quick. I have to stop. I should have jumped before he hit that one. Okay, I just need to get a rhythm going. Stop here. Go. Go. Hit. Go one. Go. So I stop after one. I stop. I stop after that one. Okay. Go. Jump once. I was in the air. They never owned the contract, they ended up losing the contract after Crash 3 Racing and they moved on to work at Jack and Dexter, which was their own series. How did they lose the contract though? Did they do something wrong or did they just, the owners decide that we don't want this anymore? Like what, what happened? Because the, I thought the creator of Naughty Dog, I thought he was the one who made Crash, like, how did they not own it? I'm confused, like who owned it then? Still gonna finish it today, right? <laughs> right? Oh my god, I could 
I'm so tired. I can't even be mad right now. <sighs> if you want to finish it this stream, you better start using. I'm not cheating. I won't do that. We're doing it legit. I was on the ground crouching. I pressed crouch. If people, if kids did this when it was new, your boy can do it too. figure this out okay I know about old platformers and some shit things that they do okay I grew up in that era I can do it I'll figure it out this ain't the first time I've experienced trial and error my fault, I didn't hold for it. I, I was crouching and it slid. I was on the ground by the time the thing landed. Oh my god. Okay, that was my bad. I was forgetting what I was doing. I'm surprised your family don't hear you. It's just me and my mom here right now, actually. They probably do hear me. My room is downstairs, though, so... You've almost got it. Yeah, I think I've got a rhythm to it now. I just need to, like, get rid of the anger and frustration that built up before and play it calmly again, and I'll get it. I just, you know. We're not rage quitting. We're beating the game on stream today. Ah, Mark my words. It's a bit of a similar reason to why I saw me at the Spyro. Naughty Dog never owned Crash when he created it. But how can you create it and not own it? I mean, I guess people create things and not own them. So who owned Crash before Activision somehow got it? Six hour stream, man. If that's how long it takes... Then, that's how long it takes. It's not going to take that long, come on. Shh, no. Okay. 
get this. I messed that one up. I got the rhythm wrong. You slide jump the first one. Jump. Wait. Slide jump. Slide jump. Go. Slide jump. Wait. Slide jump. I didn't slide jump. Jump. Wait. Slide jump. Slide jump. Hit. Slide jump. Wait. Slide jump. Wait. Duck. S jump. S jump. I missed that. One. <sighs> slide jump. Jump. Wait. Slide jump. Slide jump. Slide jump. Jump. I supposed to slide jump there. I said jump. Let me just say it in my head because I'm messing up now. Dark. I should have just jumped. I tried to jump over it like. I don't know how that even hit me. I have no idea. No fucking idea. I crouched. I wasn't moving the analog. celebrate until this thing is saved. I don't trust this this world right now. I don't trust anything. You are making a mockery of me in front of my minions. Not only have you defeated the elemental masks, but you are still collecting those worthless crystals. Well you've got worthless this crystals. Far, yeah. And this the is say they were important in Crash get. Pyro the fire elemental will see to that. <laughs> Oh, Cortex, come on! I don't need some flaming mask to help me! I can take Crash on by myself! You lost to me on the first wall! Crunch, Nigga, what are you talking you about? do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash. Pyro? Pyro's in this game? Oh, shit. I guess they removed the cynical from his name because I was about to load game instead of save because I've been loading this whole time and my mind was just like, hold on a sec. Don't do that. Don't do that. Overwrites, yes. Get this done in two hours. I'm trying, man. How many worlds have got left? What was that dumb boss? Anyone who's watching the stream for like the gauntlet. Someone can like check how long I spent on that because that took a lot of time. I realize my brethren have had some trouble with you, my own crash and orange friend, activation. but I'm not quite sure why. Uh, is it getting oh, hot in here? Is, so is it long. safe to be wearing that fur? It looks flammable! I really feel like the only reason that boss is hard is because of bad hitboxes. Your hit radius is shit, and the attack's hit radius is way bigger than it should be, which creates this really annoying thing. 20 minutes. Not too bad. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. Double jump, boys. There we go. Oh, that's going to make shit so much more tolerable. Oh, thank you. Double jump. Okay, so we know those are trap doors now.
Oh, the double jump's gonna make shit so much easier. Oh my god. What just landed there? Okay. Oh. Thought I was a goner. The boy thought he was gone. We're scared and hot in here. This is the only glitchy game you hate, lol. How is this the only glitchy game I hate? There's so many glitchy games in the world. So many that I've played, in fact. I don't know how you came to the conclusion that this is the only game with glitches that I dislike. Fun. I thought the game crashed on me because the music just stopped. Oh, so the TNT means I don't get the life because I allowed the TNT to destroy it. Whoops. I need those lives. No, I should have gotten the checkpoint. You've beaten the worst boss in the game, so the rest of the game should be somewhat okay. I hope you're right and that was the worst boss because... Well, because I don't want to do any worse boss than that. How am I going to do this? Okay. Well, that double jump is definitely helpful. I just have to remember that I actually have it. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Oh, fuck, fuck, I went to the wrong one. One, two, three, four, five. You've got to be shitting me. Oh, I had Aku. Alright, cool. Oh, that double jump coming so in handy. What did I miss? Nitro, but I can't get the nitro, so why even count the nitro? Just give me the fucking chat. I don't have time no more. Okay. your boy is that a death root yeah fuck that i'm not doing that I, I really don't care i'm just trying to get to at least the halfway point you know it's like mental morale if i get to the halfway point of the game i feel way more motivated to finish it wow i was next to the checkpoint if i get to the halfway point i'll be way more motivated to like finish the game because it's like well you're more than halfway in. Just get to the end kind of thing, you know what I mean? Oh <sighs> How are you able to get smooth gameplay on the emulator? Might be lagging despite having a high-end PC. I don't know, like, how high-end is your PC, you know? People be saying they got high-end PC, but... You know, remember it also depends, like, because you might have a good GPU but not a great CPU. You know, just because it says i7, not make it high end because it could be an old i7. Oh, so now I've lost the death route. Well, I wasn't gonna take you anyway, so there, yeah. 
How do you feel now? Stupid death route. Okay, I've got Arcus, so I'm not worried now. Yeah, I hate how you kill the enemy and that their projectiles are still coming for you. What's up, Beats? What emulator are you using? PCSX2. How's the game? Um, I'm feeling a light five right now. Sweaty hands are hurting the control now. Wet in the control, I should say. Wow, that flopped. That also flopped. Oh, oof, too, too close. This level's not too bad. If it had good control, like the original trilogy, more vibrant colors and music that I actually wanted to dance to. Maybe I'll fuck with it more. Should I go for those crates? I think I will. Wait. Didn't think that through. There's still one more there. 106. Okay, I'm gonna go for it because I'm stubborn like that. You can walk on them with a steep sneak skill mostly now. This game is pretty ugly, but who am I to judge? Yeah, the game just doesn't look nice. I get that's a PS2 game, but it doesn't even look nice for its time. Oh, what do you know? Give me that. We out here. Coming up to the three hour mark. See, that level didn't take too long. What else is there? Second gem and a relic. How'd you get the second gem then? I'm guessing something to do with the death route, yeah. Save game, not load, not load. Well, Rock of is one of the first PS2 games, so it's actually gonna look pretty. I don't think that's a good excuse, because it just doesn't look vibrant. Like, it doesn't have nice colors, you know? It's not even just the the graphics are old, it just doesn't, uh, it's, just, it's missing a vibrancy. Tsunami, three hours to go. <laughs> don't listen to Bradley, okay? It's not three hours. Like, we're already on World 3. After after I beat this level and the level after it, oh Coco shows up on the road screen, that's nice. After I beat this level and the one after it, I'm officially like halfway into the game. Right? Look, it's not it's not three hours. Have some faith in your boy. Oh, come on, that was cheap. And Coco has a worse moveset as well, so I have to deal with that. And of course, her shit jump animation. And she doesn't have a double jump, so I just spent all that time getting used to having the double jump. And now I have to sacrifice the double jump. To be fair, Prem was in good to us a lot of chance, so a lot of time spent on Thank you, Andy! Supporting your boy! I would have been done with the game by now if I was ignoring the chat, because I care about you guys. I'm taking longer for you guys. You see, someone gets it, you know? Out here supporting the chat. I'm really just here to entertain you guys. The game is just background shit, you know what I mean? Like, I could spend 12 hours on this bitch if I feel like it, you know? I ain't gonna do that though, like, <laughs> I ain't trying to do that though. I was not paying attention at all. I just thought I could keep running and I just died. This music doesn't even fit this area. This is like some like Asian looking area. This music is just some like boring techno crap. The fuck is this? What the actual fuck is this? Like, I mean, I guess there's some kind of like Asian instruments in there. See, the reason why this is dodgy, right? 
is because it looks like there's ground there, but because of the, the weird 2D plane, I cannot go past this point, right? So that ground over there that it looks like I could go to, which is why I was holding the analog in that direction, you can't go there. So they've created a fake pit because it looks like you can stand there, but the, the camera stops you. That is, that is horrible design. Like, it looks like you could just, oh, I'll just go around. But you know, you can't. You should have just made the whole thing pit. Sounds like Prone doesn't like this game. It looks interesting though. Okay, Game Boy Guy, if it looks interesting, you better play it then. But I know you play the original trilogy, so you're not gonna like this. I would be thoroughly surprised if you like this anywhere near. And then you switch it to the other side. Oh no, you only switch to the other side if I get too close. Alright, cool. That's probably the best designed enemy here because it makes you think. Okay, I can't spin jump, which is I was about to sorry, I can't slide jump, which is about what I was about to do. 17 lives. Okay, not too bad. That flopped. I like it's about time though. Oh yeah, but it's about time looks lit though. Don't put this in the same category as it's about time. That shit looks lit. Okay. I hit that. I think I did. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hit. I'll take care of everything. The game is just considered mediocre, not great, but not a steaming power, or depending on who you are. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can't call it, like, it's not a 2 out of 10 game, it's just, it's painfully mediocre, like, not in a interesting way, just like a... Okay, see, like, where are the controls to tell you this is how you go faster, this is how you slow down? You get on the vehicle, and you just can't go fast enough, like, where's the part where it says this is how you speed up? This is how you break or whatever. They just kind of leave you and just expect you to know. Yeah, I really should have taken the arc loop. Does my bonus crates even count anymore? I don't know. I think last time it was circle. I'm gonna try circle again. But I need an arc loop, seriously. Oh, see, how was I supposed to even see that Nitro in time? I got lucky. Give me a checkpoint or an Aku, please. Okay, thank you. New CTR game would be pretty cool. I mean, they need to port Nitro Fuel to PC before it's a lot new game. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a color gem route. I'm guessing I missed the crates from there, so that's not my bad. It's the most 3D looking crash game, I'll give it that at the time. I guess, um, honestly, I still prefer the look of the PS1 games. All right, 25 levels, so we're about to hit, reach the halfway point of the game. So to those who said it was going to take another three hours, that's not true, because we're not even three hours into this stream yet, and we're halfway into the game. So it's not going to take another three hours. The game guy will probably hate it, hate it because it's from the 2000s. Oh yeah, I forgot Game Guy had a hate boner for anything from the 2000s. You know, them damn 3D games. Smokey and the Bandicoot. Hmm. I have a 
taste for some deep fried bandicoot. Speaking of which, just to gauge what people are saying, since this is a crash stream, when Crash 4 comes out, what are you guys feeling? You know, because obviously your boy wants to cover it, but. Ooh, a race. Okay, a nice change of pace. What are you guys feeling for when Crash 4 comes out? You feeling a, a stream, boys? Or are you feeling a well-edited video, boys? I guess it depends on how many fails there are. When there's a lot of fails, a video works better because you can just edit them. Whoops, I'm dead. Is that a life lost? Yep, I think it's a life lost. 4 will be on PC. What? Wait, Beats? What are you talking about 4 will be on PC? They didn't announce PC. Can you get out of my way, you stupid car? Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. They didn't even teach me the controls of the car. They just put you in a car level and just say, yo, play. Like, how can you not put the controls on the screen? Am I supposed to read the fucking manual? What is this, 2000 and... Oh. How was I supposed to even see that pit? Oh, you're asking? Oh no, it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One, that's it. But those consoles, I mean, PS5 and Series X will have backwards compatibility, so you get to run it on that as well. But yeah, PS4, Xbox One, no Switch, no PC. Old man yells at three dimensions, wow. I was looking at chat and I almost fell back into the same pit again. Alright, we're second, so not too bad. I know there's gonna be some pits somewhere, so I've gotta be careful. Oh, come! Beats, I'm upset about the console thing as well. I feel like they should just put it on PC instead of doing that whole Activision wait a year before we put it on PC thing. You know. But I mean, I have a PS4, so I will play it. Wait, please. There's a pit there. Can you get out? Imagine trying to get all these fucking crates as well. I didn't even know that was a pit. I thought that was a ramp. We're done with this shit. If it comes to Epic Game Store, they'll catch these hands. If it comes to Epic Games Store, they'll catch this piracy. It's a single player game, so they better not fuck around. You can get away with that shit with multiplayer shit where you can't crack it because it's multiplayer. You wanna put a single player game, Epic Store, exclusive? Yeah, you're, you're gonna catch this piracy. Hypothetically speaking, because I premiums do not condone piracy in any way, shape, or form, obviously. By the way, thanks to the first new game of downloading to the ROM. So now we are halfway into the game. Eskimo roll. 
Huh, I wonder if the graphics can be bad, maybe an emulator issue since on this level it's really apparent. I don't know. I mean, I could look at some footage of the game, but. Oh, more of this shit. Obviously, playing it at 4K is going to highlight that it's an old game because it was not built for 4K. But even still, I played the PS1 Crash games on Emulator, or well, 1 and 2, and they still look nice because they had lush colors. So this is like the level from before, but this time with more hazards, basically. So, Oh, I remember this guy from CTR. So can I hurt him? Okay, we just avoid him, I guess. Yeah, this this is this this is a pain. This is going to be a pain. This is a pain. No, hit the fucking checkpoint. Don't don't play games with me. Fuck the crates, man. I didn't even know that was a pit. I just thought that was the path. It looks like it was the path. I'm just going down, right? Going down, it's going down. Going down, it's going down. Oh my god, come on, fishy. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I lost over the style of fishy black on the terrain was loading in the back of my entry. Ah! Uh, I mean, I'm sure the emulator is not making it look better. You know, resolution bumps aside. So I'm sure there's a few things that look wrong on the emulator. But I looked at like some long plays of the game to like analyze how long it'll take to beat and to see if I could do it at one stream. Which clearly I'm on pace to doing. Um, and it just didn't, it still didn't look that great to me. Um, but yeah, I'm sure on, on native hardware it probably looks a bit better. Alright, checkpoint. Fuck that enemy. Fran, what do you think about Logic Sauce? I'm not listening to that shit. I mean, Logic seems like a cool dude. I just. I've never gotten into Logic. I've heard some of his songs, like Homicide and the one of the numbers that he bit from Joyner Lucas. But like, I don't be listening to Logic, right? Like, even Hardcore Logic fans be saying that he fell off years ago anyway, so if I was gonna listen to Logic, I'd be going to listen to like the earlier shit. In some way, these levels are actually less frustrating than the main ones, which is kind of weird to say, but and then I die. Thank you, Logic is cool, but he ain't good to Yeah, he's sleeping on his top. Yeah, like I've heard enough Logic songs to know that he's not gonna be in my top anything. I'm not gonna sit here and be like everything he does is trash because that's that's not fair. Like, if I'm gonna hate like that, I gotta listen to everything to or at least enough to say that, but I'm not excited for a logic out, you know what I mean? Like he's not in, I don't think he's in any GOAT conversation. Like I don't think anyone puts him in a GOAT conversation.
But maybe I will give it a listen, just so I can compare it to Joyner's album and see which album's better. Because I know Joyner's album got a lot of flat. I like this album, but Joyner's album was dragging a bit, you know. There were some songs on it I could definitely go back to, though. Oh, this is in death. Alright then, cool. Okay. This melody could easily be used in a trap beat, bro. What the fuck was that? So it's a speed booster, but it goes in any old direction. Whose idea was this? I was trying to get up there. Logic is even the second tip. Exactly, bro. He's not. He's the almost middle spot. Yeah, like he's, he's not. He's not in that conversation. Plus, I really have a disliking. You know, I know Joyner does this as well. But I have a disliking for rappers who just be like talking about how much Mumble sucks and how much they're better than Mumble. Like Eminem does that shit and it just pisses me off. Like you're supposed to be Eminem. You're supposed to be like top tier. And you're here worrying about what new generation is doing, dissing Lil Pump on your records, like come on. Like you're grown. Like when Joyin or Logic does it, I can understand because they haven't gotten like the props that they feel they deserve because they're newer artists and they don't have as much clout. But for Eminem to be doing that, like acting like he's a salty like dude who, you know, his real hip hop is being lost out to to these new gen people, and it's like you already had your shine, like why are you so upset for? Alright, how long did I spend on that level? I feel like I'm getting quicker. Maybe my brain is just playing tricks on me. No, we weren't in here. We weren't there. Okay. This hubble looks a bit dead. Fahrenheit Frenzy. Prim, which new gen rapper would you listen to? Hope you brought your sunscreen. Whoa. Because you're gonna burn. My favorite new gen rappers are dead. Except Roddy. Um, even Roddy. Like, I fucked with Roddy, but I didn't really like the album that much. Like, there was a few songs I fucked with, but... In terms of, like... I was fucking with Juice and X. That was, like, my favorite new gen... You know, like, born in the 90s, born after me. Like, new gen, new gen. You know, Juice and X were, like, my favorites. And then they both died on me, so... Ruddy was, like, third after those two. What the fuck kind of control it? Oh, okay, so it's X to go forward. Circle to go back. This has got to be some of the worst control I have ever experienced in my 25 years of life. This has got to be some of the worst thing, the, the worst control I have experienced. Didn't Crash 2 have this thing as well? I've been listening to KSI's new songs. I heard Lyle. What do you think about people who do YouTube and stuff through rap? I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing YouTube and rapping, but at the end of the day, you gotta be good. Wow, apparently I went too low. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the burn, with the burn. Oh, there was a checkpoint there. I didn't even see it. Why would I see it?
they call this a level? What hit me? What hit me? What? Oh my god, Traveler's Tales. I'm sorry, but this is not it. What the fuck hit me? Is it those lights? The lights hurt me? I can barely see them shits. The whole clothes look at her. Would you listen to Trippy Red? I mean, he did some songs of X that I liked. And, like, I haven't... I think I listened to one Trippy Red project, like, total. Um, that was the one that had Missing My Idols on it. I don't think I disliked the project, but I cannot list any other song off it except for Missing My Idols, which I actually really liked that. It was a decently good song, and I liked the fact that he was paying homage to his idol, which was Lil Wayne, because Lil Wayne is goated, and sometimes he doesn't get the props he deserves. Watch out for the lights, thank you. Wow. And now they're giving me a pity Aku. And it doesn't even matter, I'm still dying. Can't see. I was trying to go up and I pressed up on the analog, which took me down, so you know, inverted controls and whatnot. You know, you know how it be. You know how it be with inverted controls. I mean, I don't dislike inverted controls, but I like having the option. Thank you, no more fucking vehicles. How many lasts I got? I'm gonna have to do some serious building now. Oh yeah, Crash has a double jump, I forgot. I was using Coco for a while and I forgot. Six hours stream back on the- Come on, have faith in your boy! Wait, that was a pit? What? That jump didn't go far enough. I can barely see what's a platform or what's not. That looks like ground. That looks like they're throwing objects onto it and it's hitting it. But yet when I landed there, I died. What up with that? So it's a pit. They're throwing objects there, so you think, oh, that's not a pit. That, that's ground, because the object is hit in that area. But then, no, it's a pit. Well, I like his music, but Tyler the Creator fans can be the worst. I don't really, I don't think I've gone in on like Tyler fans. I don't really follow that whole fan base. My favorite Tyler song was probably still the first one I heard from him, which was Yonkers. That shit was crazy. So look at this area. I bet that's also a pit as well, even though it clearly looks like some kind of transparent ground. It looks like a ground. I'm not even going to risk it. What the hell killed It's 
to be fair, if we're going based on the time the actual game started, it's only been like three hours. Yeah, exactly. Those cutscenes and all sorts of shit. Like, that's some faith in your boy. We're more than halfway in. It's not going to be another three hours. Two at the most, and we're done with the shit. <sighs> I've got three lives left. If I beat this level without getting a game out, that's not happening, that's right. If I beat this level, and then we can talk about places to go and farm laps, because I'm going to need some of that. Look how upset these enemies are, they look so sad. Like, Oh, this is to throw bags for the rest of my life. My right hand's getting so strong they think I've been wanking this whole time. Quit, I know you want to. Your boy Ram is not a quitter. We're finishing this game on this stream, or my name ain't. Premulus the Remsen. So what ki what killed me? Is it that little like pipe thing with the with the steam looking shit? That's what killed me, really? The hazards you can barely tell the difference between hazards and non-hazards in this fucking game. And now I'm hitting Nitro, exactly what I was trying to do. More hazards. There's a life there. Yeah, I definitely needed that. What is that metal crate? What what does that do? Don't make me touch that thing if it's gonna kill me. Come on. Rem gang, don't Don't troll your boy right now. Someone tell me what this crate does. Before I hit it. And the metal crates have killed you by squashing you. What, did they fall from the sky? I can barely see, like, is that safe platform or not? I can bet. Quick turns you invisible temporarily. Extra life. Man, you guys are sending mixed signals. I don't trust I don't trust any of this now. I'm ignoring it. Did I just stand on the laser? Do you see that? Huh. Well bye, Aku. The risk of death has gone up. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Fuck the enemy. Okay, another RP will do it. Nah, I didn't even get to see what invincibility was like in the game. So, this looks like... This looks like a pit, but yeah, it's ground. This looks like... Oh my god. Like, I'm supposed to feel safe on this? Everyone's saying it's an extra life now. Next time I'll try it when I have more lives. But right now, I don't trust it. Wow, I knew I was going to get hit. 
bonus root. That's usually life on those, right? So yeah, why not? Mental crate gives crash weed. Okay, what did the switch do? Give me that. Ha, I almost died. I was holding L2! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. I need a pee break.
Ugh. Take it more for the throat medication because I'm gonna need it. Remember when hitboxes used to matter? Like actually taking pride and making good hitboxes? Like his heel is not even touching the crate. And yet somehow Somehow this dude, this fucking marsupial, is still standing on the crate. This is this is exactly how the boss attacks be working. It's not even touching you, it'd be like that, and you're still getting hurt. Here's a link on what the crate was, since you don't trust us. Let me see. Invisibility crate. He turns invisible for a few seconds, aiding him in getting through obstacles such as lasers. Well, then who are the people saying it gives me a life? They were lying then. Someone was lying. I heard like four different things on what it does. Ugh. Oh, they want me to avoid this nitro. So I got a slide jump, I'm guessing. No leeway whatsoever because those lives. I could risk it for that. I mean, why shouldn't I risk it? It's a bonus level. I'm not going to lose any lives. I can try again. What's up, Spidey? Oh, really? your favorite crash games that you're playing crash now crash one insane version oh my fucking god and i can't skip the bonus level because i need the lives I'm not crazy. Like, travelers, t did you see this and think this was right? I get that hitboxes aren't always perfect, but did you see this and think this is right? The back of his body is not even touching the ground. It's not even one of those close call hitbox things. It's completely off. It's completely off. 
this 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 is not right. Like, you, who would look at that and go, "Yep, yeah, that's fine." He's like one and a half. He's like half a crate away from the from the platform. Oh, for goodness sake. Toy football better show them how the fuck it's done. I was touching the TNT! How did... I, I, I didn't touch the fucking Nitro! I was on TNT! For fuck's sake! anymore so is this actually platforms I can stand on then oh I've got no Aku as well so I'm really fucked six hours she was back on the cards <laughs> you guys won't let your boy <laughs> you won't let your boy hope at least if I believe the stream won't be six hours then at least we could finish the game we'll be three and a half hours in What is this enemy? Die. Is that ground or is that not ground? I have no idea. Okay. 
doing those like the multi crits? Why did I get hit once? So look at this hazard. The hazard is barely a only slightly different color to the main thing. How am I getting through this? It's not even a pattern that I can follow. This is one of those sections where you just hope that you had Aku Haku and then you just go through it. I have no strategy on how to get through that. And I wish I had Aku Aku right now because there's no there's no rhythm to this. How there's what is the leeway to get through this? And on top of that, they put this annoying thing in the front of the screen in the middle, so you can't even see what you're doing. I think that area is graphics only. That's what I think. Well, that's what I would have thought, but I can't trust this game. You know what? I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go. Hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm a skeleton, but I'm not dead. Okay. Now I'm dead. Okay. I'm all the way fucking back here. All the way back here. All the way back here. All the way back here. So, that is a hazard. The other one isn't. Okay. If I go back to the bonus suit, will the lives be there? I can't go on it. Okay. Oh, it's not it's actually not that far where I was. It's just because I spent so much time on the bonus area. I feel like pro You see, Bradley, you see, that's that's not some Rem Gang shit. That's some not believing in your boy shit. Your boy is beating this game on stream. Okay? It's happening. So you, either you accept it or well you get proven wrong. But the, the game is getting beaten on stream. Yeah, for you, I did a playthrough with the game recently, got confused on what hazards and what aren't. I think the game like three, four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's got this really confusing thing. Like, can I go there? Is that a background? Is that a hazard? Like, it's so just off. Look at this. So you've got the crusher. Then you've got the nitro, and then in the area that you're going to be jumping around the nitro, you've got another hazard. And I'm supposed to, like, stay alive throughout all of this. I mean, I did, but that's only because I slay. Oh, we've got two Arkus in this bitch. Oh, can, can your boy claim an invincibility, though? And we claimed the checkpoint, so... Eight lives, okay, well not too bad. I was feeling the uh, game over before, but right now, things are looking a bit better. Is that ground? I can't trust it. Ooh, lives, lives. Yes! Alright, let's test your metal crate now. It's like a developer hack right there. Is that safe platform? Okay, I got hit, but I had two Arkus. I feel Prem will beat, he won't get. Yes, Andy, he gets it. Not that I'm down, it's just like I can tell how you feel. There's no way. If this was the first world, I probably would give up. But we're more than halfway in now. There's no way I'm gonna give up when we made it this far. No way. Unless I get stuck on a boss for like an hour, then at that point I'll be... Okay. Giving up for me, like, I'm beating the game on stream regardless, but for me, giving up would be using save states. That would be like, I'm done. Let me just save state the whole fucking thing. That would be giving up for me. 
because I'm not actually gonna just stop. I'm past that point. Oh, I'm still missing shit. Nah, he ain't being... Ugh, the doubters will be proven wrong today. Oh, I was about to say I had one more level, but then the crystal showed up. Nope, we're done with that. There's boss time. We're like 60% into the game. Well, after I beat this boss. Let's just hope this boss is easy. Triumphant hero crash. He's gonna be in the second. Yes, we'll be in it. Let's finish this. Let the doubters doubt. Okay, they don't know your boy. They don't know the determination. Once I beat this boss, it's just two zones left. Isn't this like the the boss from like Crash One? Okay, it's not like that. I thought it was that one boss where you like bounce the thing back. But apparently I'm just supposed to run for it, so it's not that. Um, how do I use this thing? I guess square does something. Okay, so I guess that's the formula. Simple enough. Run away from him for a bit. Dodge his attacks. And then go into the machine. And then hit him, right? It's not too hard. Okay, it gets further though. It gets further. Okay, I see how it gets harder. Okay, we're in the machine. Now who's boss motherfucker? Now who's boss motherfucker? Where you at? Get lit up. Oh, he's leaving projectiles. No. 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 They're trying to make it harder. No. Get lit up. How do I go faster in this fucking thing? Get lit up. That's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, for fuck's sake. Obviously, there's probably some control I'm missing to make him go faster or some shit. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get closer to him. Like... You don't tell, there's, there was no indicator as to how to control this vehicle that you just put, in, that I've never used before in the game. You just gave me the vehicle and I was supposed to now light his ass up, but yet yeah, he's running away from me faster than I'm hitting him. Giving me Aku. I ain't dying. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I think you have to go as straight as possible without turning too much. You can't take the machine, make the go machine go faster. So. Yeah, I feel, I feel like that's it, but like, it's so tight though, like, it's so tight, like, I don't know. I feel like it should not be that tight. Oh, 
because I have to dodge anyway because he's dropping projectiles. Oh, I got lit up anyway. No, that's not it. That's not it because I hit him before. I think circle, maybe circle makes you go faster. Maybe that's, I, I know there's got to be a speed up button. It just didn't tell me what it is, so I don't know. I'm going to try holding circle. I think it's something to do with holding circle. Hard to tell the jump is. I thought about the jumping thing, but I, I don't think it's that. I think there's a button to make the thing go faster, and they didn't tell me. Because I had this problem with the, the, the chase levels when I was in like a vehicle. And it was like, what, I was just dying by holding down. And then I realized when I held circle, I was going faster. And that was the only way I could do it without dying. I jumped that. I jumped that. I don't understand how this thing controls. Is there like... What does that say? Liberation. How can you not have the control? Like... How, how do you give me a vehicle and not tell me how to control it? Like, does that make any sense? Prim, are you enjoying the best crash? I'm not playing the best crash. Right now. This is the dumbest thing ever because it should be, the, it should tell you how to control the thing. I think maybe when you, maybe when you attack, it slows you down. I think so. You have to like run and then hit him. If you hold attack, then you go slower. That's my assumption right now. Based on trying to make some sense out of something that should be taught, but, you know. Man, imagine IGN reviewing this game now. I mean, they probably weren't nice to it then, but, like, imagine now with modern day, you know, pussy philosophies. I was seeing a video... I was seeing a video today, like on Crash 4, and basically, whatever. I was seeing a video on Crash 4 by IGN, and they were complaining that there was not enough accessibility options. I'm like, they put a modern mode there where you can't get game over, you just, you don't even have lives, and they still wanted more accessibility options. I'm like, man, imagine a modern day reviewer, like someone who was like, I don't know, my age, when this came out, and then playing it now. Oh, so was that, yeah. So, I think Circle makes you go faster. I can't even know, I don't even know if that's proven yet, but I think Circle makes you go faster, and if you attack, it slows you down. So this is the last one, so it's gonna go further, I believe. So I just have to stay on his tail, basically. Or die. Yeah, I hate this. The boss takes three hits, but I take one. So fun.
I don't even think Circle does anything. Honestly, I don't think Circle does anything. I'm, I'm starting to believe that Circle doesn't make you go faster. It's simply just the case of you just go forward and you can't attack because attacking slows you down. I think that's it. Very simple. If only they just told me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try not pressing circle. If not pressing circle still gets me to him, then we know it's not about circle. I jumped out of the way. You could see I jumped out of the way. It was blatantly obvious that I jumped out of the way. Like, these hitboxes are so shit. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna have to load my file again because I'm getting low on lives. <sighs> this is the kind of boss that shouldn't be hard if the hitboxes were realistic. But because the, the hitboxes are shit, it becomes bad. Now, this should not be a hard boss. It's just bad hitboxes. Like, things that you clearly avoided still causing you to get hit. Ah, the triumphant hero crash. Reduced to a They gave Battle of Bikini Bottom my hatred of fire. They were saying it was hard and they were saying it was easy and they got mad that it's a kid's Let's game. Let's finish this. Yeah, I mean, they're all over the place, man. Like, honestly. <sighs> Oh, these disc modes. So if they knew I was going to run backwards, why even make me face the boss at the start, making me think that there's no backwards? Like, these are the little things, you know what I mean? The little things. close to 40 likes on this bitch. Yo! Oh. I was looking at chat. That was my fault. I was looking at chat. Bell. Probably. I'm not even the biggest fan of Uni, I still agree. Hit the texture will make you feel like you're trash or something when you clearly are doing the right thing. Alright, so now he's gonna throw obstacles. Why does Aku Aku even show up if he's not gonna stay there and let me take a hit? That's gonna kill me. I jumped! I jumped! Yeah. The concept of this was so I don't think you'd be in the power of water. Or maybe it's like some chemical shit. Maybe it's not water. The, pop, the reason why this boss is so annoying is because I really like this concept. It's a cool concept for a boss. It's just ruined by shit hit detection. I get one more in no once you get one in he just he just cheats basically once you get one in they're like nah we have to cheat now we have to actually like run at maximum speed now oh that's what the litters are so twice in one go okay 
Yeah, now he mad. Oh, now he mad. Oh, I see you. The rock's turning into two. I see, I see you. I see, you. okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you, though. But do you see me? Do you see me, though? Bitch! Bitch! What? I wasn't giving myself enough credit. I was dodging him for too long. I should just lit his ass up straight away. Death tornado spin. To spin longer and faster or to glide while in the air, press square repeatedly. Oh, this is the thing from Crash 3. Oh, we have this in this game. So the puzzle has you do a bubble one ball move and a piston to open something. Oh yeah, I saw that. I put it in one of my videos actually. Oh, we're so done. Cortex! Why is that mindless marsupial still collecting still those crystals? Else, he defeated Man, Rocco and Wawa. No one's ever looking I'm at the beginning puzzles. to question the value of your super weapon. I don't need another mask's help. I could take this crash punk out with my metal arm tied behind my back. Nigga, you died on the first in the first world. Oh, Crunch. Stop being silly. Okay. Exactly. Even, even, even Daddy Cortex is going to use No need for you to lose any beauty sleep. I'm lose no beauty sleep. Ugh. Before I get too comfortable, let me hit that save. 20%. Alright, how long are we streaming for? Four hours to do three walls. Oh, it's the fifth wall, right? Oh, an ice wall. Oh, how fun this will be! How fun this will be! The guy that voice controls in Lilo and Stitch. Oh shit. The Crash Bandicoot, eh? Oh, I've heard so I much about you. I have yes. this is the hero I have to blow away. <laughs> Seems like a bunch of hot air to me. Oh. I'm going to have to take a break before I play the next Crash game because... Because this is going to be painful. Don't be putting no funky music on if the level's not going to be funky. It's gonna be painful, don't be putting no happy music on right now because. So they just gave me the death spin and I can't even use it because I have to do another Coco level and she doesn't even have a fucking double jump or a fucking slide. You give me this new move and then you make me not even have one level to test it out. What kind of shit is that? I'm about to use my death spin and my double jump and it's like, oh no, 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 use Coco now. You thought right, you, you thought you, you, you thought we're gonna let you use the new move that you just unlocked? No. The fuck you think this is? A good game? Well, easy come, easy go. What was that game you said was like the warehouse? Oh, you mean Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands? Yeah, that game is goated. What is this cringe music? This is some clown shit. See a checkpoint. That's a bonus route. Um, checkpoint's more important. Hit that. I've got seven lives. Okay. Let me do a bonus route then. I can't wait to reply revelations. 
to walk. Which game is Western Brotherhood? Did someone ask that? I thought that was gonna kill me still. Oh, that's slippery shit. That music looping is so awesome. Oh my god. Man, I can't wait to replay. Oh my god. There's always someone. No, Nitro, Nitro, Nitro. I didn't touch the charm. I jumped. Oh my fucking god, I jumped. When they replay the stream, it's gonna be like half of it spent on just bonus levels. Bradley still thinks Revelations is the best AC game. Oh my god. I'm too tired to even roast right now. Hmm. Speaking of Revelations, that's the fourth AC game. I'm playing the fourth Crash game right now. Hmm. Four and four. It's funny how they fell off from the ones before them. Okay, I mean, Revelations didn't fall as hard as Wrath of Cortex. I'm just I'm just, I'm just memeing. Revelations is still a great game. It's not this. They will never be Brotherhood because, you know, that's goaded and all. Ah, the control is already us. Now we gotta add ice levels to it. Let me guess, circle makes me go faster, and if I don't press circle, I'm gonna die. Yep. Not sure that I can barely see. Check. No checkpoints. Check. Points that I'm never going to get. Check. What is that 9 out of 22 shit? What is that? I'm supposed to go through these things. So if I don't go through, then what? It never ends? Oh, it's ended, alright. I guess the only things I missed were on the snowboarding section. Yeah, nonetheless, I'm not doing that again. Wrath of Cortex Whistle was like River. I mean, sure, if you're going to compare Wrath of Cortex to Revelations, then you get you get one win. I guess enjoy that win. Yes, Revelations is better than Wrath of Cortex. <laughs> oh. Sixteen out of twenty-five levels. Oh, what, four hours in. You never. Miss. Oh no! Trust me, you miss. You miss quite a few times. <laughs> Droid boy. Okay. We're getting closer to the end. Come on. 
Someone saying I should quit. Look, you thought I was gonna quit. Now you're panicking because you realize you were wrong about your boy. Oh, let's test the glide now. Well, it doesn't last as long as the one in Insane Trilogy. That shit would keep you in the air for ages. But this will be good for those enemies with the shit boxes. Yeah, I'm not going to use that for extra hype because it barely does anything. I didn't even see the laser. I literally was like... I just thought it was visual aesthetic and I just jumped and I was dead. Alright, so there's lasers. i got to be careful. Yeah, so i got to wait till it's in a way that I can safely jump. Where the fuck am I going? Oh! One of these things. I don't even know what these enemies like attack patterns are. Maybe they don't do attacks, maybe I just have to avoid them. There's gotta be a way to go faster on the stopping thing. This song could be remixed. I bet if they remade this game, this song would get a really sick remix. But the melody's got potential. It just needs a bit more oomph to it. Can you go right, please? Thank you. Yeah, this... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, a remix would fucking slay this shit. It cannot be this slow. Come on. Anything. Oh, there's electricity on it. How convenient that there was no electricity before, and now there's electricity, and somehow I'm supposed to know that. Given how slow this is, like, when did they expect me to, like, switch between? Yeah, this is... This design is fucking trash. Um, yeah. How far in are we? Level 16. <sighs> if I was in a bad mood, I would quit by now. Is it going to keep shocking me? There's barely any time to even like do that like... There must be a way to go faster than this. In Insane, oh my god, I just got comparing to Insane. Like, I've got to lower the bar right now. It's fun to play if you're used to the drink. That was the first time I got fun. Well, I I get that. You know, I have games that have some jank in them that newcomers would not like. I understand that feeling. But at the same time, man, like, I don't know.
split second more. Okay, that's gonna come in here, Lee. Yeah. That Aku Aku is gonna be what we need to get through this shit. A lot of pressure with the zone choices is not completely terrible. I mean, I hope the bar is higher than it's not completely terrible, though. If you're going for 100%, this would be a pain. I'm so glad I never have to experience that in my life. I wonder what bad I have to lose to fucking 100% this shit. Yeah, that's the time that's right. I had an Aku! <sighs> My switch screen is scratched the fuck off. Should I buy a new one or get a light and just play the normal one in dark? Get a light. Because they're probably going to drop a Pro next year. The way things are going, you don't want to be spending too much money on a main Switch. And then it's like, oh shit, Pro coming out. Alright, I need to time this thing. My brain is slowing down right now. Just realized you got a red icon even though your favorite color is blue. Well, my twin brother already used blue on his icon, and I wanted to try something different. Besides, because I look like my twin brother and all he does is play Sonic, they will just associate the blue with Sonic, so I have to do something that just would stand out, you know. Thank you. This is the bonus level. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Usually they, they travel like somewhere far away. I was gonna jump on the TMT, but apparently my double jump kicked in. Funny thing is if if the tip of Crash's toenail touches the nitro, I'm dead. But before, when it was just the platform suspended in the air or whatever, Crash was not even standing on it and hadn't registered that he'd fallen off the platform. Guarantee you I get the tip of Crash's toenail touches the nitro, he's fucked. Hitboxes are just there to not work in your favor. I don't even care about getting all the crates to be honest. I'm just coming into the bonus area to grab some fucking what's it called? Nah, fuck it, give me the crate. You've made a mistake by shooting this trash. I have to though. I need to, well, oh, as a Crash fan, I need to play everything, just so I can say I've played it and have an opinion on it. Oh, emulator, no. Emulator. So, <laughs> it's not even the whole, it's just, it's just in-game. Oh, my God. Oh 
my god, they want your boy to suffer. They want your boy to suffer. The menu still works. The hard works, the menu works. Just just the game. Just the just the game fucked up. trying so hard to just like look at the ground like to look through this bullshit right now just shoot something shoot something why is the radar all the way there maybe try tweaking the emulator settings I don't think it's an emulator issue, though. I mean, yes, yeah, an emulator issue, but I don't think it's a, 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 a setting tweak fix. I mean, someone can Google it and see, but like, I legit just think it's some kind of compatibility issue on this level. I'm trying so hard to just kill this enemy so I can walk safely. Maybe he's just too far away from me. <laughs> yeah, I know this is definitely an emulator glitch. I don't believe this is, you know. I don't believe this is normal. But I still need to finish this level so I don't have to start it again. So if I have to get to the end and then save. And then maybe I'll reopen the emulator just give it a fresh start or something. But I can't reset now. Okay. I'm trying to play close attention to where the ground is. And I'm having a hard time. having a very hard time figuring out where the ground is. Oh, they're really testing my, my eyesight right now. Do I even have an Aku or something? Save state just to exit and fix the uh, But what if it just happens again? Then it's like, you know. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I've lost the drive to even like. Maybe I deserve this. Maybe this is this is the karma. I get in life for not being more positive about I guess some franchises this is what I get I think there's a pit there yeah there's a pit there okay maybe it's karma for roasting you <laughs> nah, the world's not that cruel. Let me save to slot zero. Let me close the emulator. I'm only using a save state for the glitch. I'm not using it to cheese. If it's still like that, then it's just stuck in the game. And there's nothing I can do. Yep.
it's just a problem with the emulator. It just it has a problem with this. So nothing I can do. I reopen the game because a safe state shouldn't preserve emulator glitches. It would only preserve in-game glitches because it's emulating the game. Try to. I don't. I don't know. Like, what could I tweak? Like, unless there's a known setting that you can fix for this. I just think it's an emulation issue. Like, they probably just never fixed it. Whatever the fix is, like, if someone can Google it, well, like, right now, I just want to get past this level and just hope that it's just a one level specific issue. Kill this fucking enemy. Thank you. Yeah, I was already here. I died. Yeah. Have you tried software? Man? I don't even know what that is. I don't use PS2 emulation often. So. <sighs> saying I'll change um, we can google it right now um, crash rough cortex PCS X2 <laughs> um, graphical glitch Okay. Ah. In level 17, 24, and 20. So this is going to happen again. It works on software mode, but it is slow. Works on software mode, but it's slow and hardware will skip for uh, uh, Enable hardware hacks My brain is too slow to even process shit right now Okay, let me try this software mode. Um, video plugin settings. OpenGL software, Direct 3D9 software. So that fixed it. Um, now I can't upscale it though, so the resolution's gone down. Um, I don't know if there's a way to. Yeah, I think the upscaling's gone now. Which I mean, I guess I'll take it. You know, at this point, like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll take it at this point. Um, I 
I guess I could just switch it back off the, the problematic level is over. All the time spent on that shouldn't count towards the six hours. Just for the record, like, we, we, we aren't counting that. This shooting thing is still shit, though. Come on. This is shit. This enemy just typing on the piano keyboard. It's actually a cool little enemy. Huh. Yes, Aku, give me that. What the fuck is this guy doing? The aiming on this thing is so shit. Oh my gosh. Didn't beat the game, Prem. I told you. You must have left when all the shit was going down. See, now I'm getting heat for the emulator's problems. We're still beating the game, though. Like, we're on the fourth wall. Like, there's five main walls. Like, you don't need to start having faith in your boy and quit. Because it's gonna suck when you're wrong and I'm right. hold on to you for longer than that, but... saying he ain't beating the game just to egg him on. I don't know about that. I think they believe it, but I don't know. But maybe the only reason I'm beating the game is just to prove people wrong. Because if no one was doubting me, maybe I would have just given up. It's like when you tell someone they wouldn't do something, so they do, then they do it. So oh, what do you mean I can't do that? And then they do it. Like the, the the greatest amount of reverse psychology, right? I didn't want to risk having these things there. Like, just destroy them before I even get near there. The more you turn, we'll do it. The more you turn. The only reason I'm so determined is because I'm closer to the end than I am to the beginning. If I was on the second world right now, this game would not be getting finished today. But, you know, we're on the fourth world. Which means one more painful boss. That's a color gem root. One more painful boss. And then the fifth world. And then one more painful boss and then done. Like, so there's a delay to the jump. I didn't even see the crystal. I don't even... Ugh. Oh, there's a life up there. I'm not even bothering. 
Oh, Nitro, of course. Okay, that's not Nitro, I can just jump there. That was close. Bad pit. I almost just ran forward. The boss in this world is thankfully not that painful. Ugh. Eight more levels, guys. Eight more levels. Now that that level's done, I'm gonna switch it back to what it was on before. If we encounter problems again, then we'll switch it again, right? I forgot what it was on before. Direct 3D11, I believe. Ah, 4K. 119 it is. Ugh. It's nice seeing how much pain I've endured. Just, just look at all the pain I've endured. I, I endured this. I endured that. Like, I endured all of that. I've almost finished doing this. Well, I, well not almost finished. I'm on the third level. Crash steroids. I'm actually in the mood for... A video. Is there a draft in here? Can he beat the game for 10p an hour and a half? It's like 120 where I live. I'm not gonna be on this by 3 a.m. That's not happening. Coco, Cortex has assembled an armada of space stations that are ready to strike the planet. Use the lasers on your ship to destroy them. Wow, I just started the boss and they already just sucked 60% life out of me. So, I gotta destroy. Okay, those things. So, they can't just like make the targets like glowy or something. Oh, I can tell this is gonna be a pain. Still not dead. I was better supposed to be in the early night when it turned. Kong's in the six hours. Six? Uh oh, well, four and a half hours in. Wow. Wow. Can you die, please? I don't want to die! Surprised I haven't died. This thing does not want to die. I'm just going to the next one. I'm tired. I'm about to die though. Things just eat up hits apparently. Unlike me, who's about to die. Coco. All I can see from these spiders is I ain't hating. Or, or I can see is I'm hating, but I'm not hating. I don't care how long it takes to get in the wash time. Yeah, I mean, I guess I needed watch time before when I was trying to get monetization and all that. Not to say I don't need watch time anymore. Of course, I always need watch time. But what I need is sleep. Even like 
jump around doing that. I don't know how I feel if it's like a loop you loop and just like go around, but clearly it doesn't want that. How many hits does this thing want? I'm gonna get that mansion though. Yeah, at this point I'm only getting three dozen flat. <laughs> I was in struggle recently. I'm just gonna alternate on both sides. I'm not gonna focus too much on one. When I hit one, I'm just gonna turn around and start hitting the next one. I don't think this is the best strategy for 11 lives. Ambush you at the fucking start. going for the red towers. Unfortunately, the other enemies went for my health. Oh. The worst part is when I do this, it's going to be some dude being this in like 30 seconds. But I can barely avoid them though, because they just like fly into you and hit you and shit. Like, I'm just trying to go for the mandatory enemies, but these guys just show up. I haven't even proven I can shoot one yet. on this one. I was moving around before.
I've hit this thing a fuck ton. It's about to be longer than the AC too. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Here's the thing. This thing has eaten hits for ages. It's been eating hits. It's just been eating, absorbing hits. I've been shooting the same one. It doesn't die. That's not bad. That's not the one I'll shoot. This one. Hit the shields. Okay, I'll hit them again. The last time I tried hitting them, I was out of health in no time. But the amount of times I've heard this one owl voice clip is starting to piss me off. about to be toast anyway. Projectiles come and hit me. Oh, we got one. Yay. Death will come soon anyway. Death. Oh my god. The, the, the insane amount of, of, of projectiles in this thing is just like ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's projectile central. And I have to hear the same fucking owl clip a million times. It's so compressed. stay in one place. You just have to like... I'm just gonna try and fly around and shoot these red things, but not stay too long in one area. If I hit one and just keep it moving... I just can't stay still. The moment I stay still is the moment they come for me. I'm just gonna have to hit them bit by bit. Huh. 
traveler's tales. Oh, you really outdid yourself. You just can't be staying still. You have to move. Staying still is a downfall. Go back and finish that off. I need to keep moving. Alright, that's done. Well, it's not done, but the, the red thing is gone. Okay. Okay, I, re I reinvigorated my health. Almost. Just keep moving. Just go to another one. I think I may have gotten all the red things now. If that's the case... Alright. If I got all the red things, then I can just... There we go. No! No! I'm the last one! Fuck off! We're more than two thirds in. It's only seven levels left. Okay. Oh, candy. Okay, let's do this shit. Oh. What Gucci? Okay. What Gucci? Like we're beating the game. Oh, we four hours fifty minutes in. We're beating the game. Oh, one of these levels. Oh, for fuck's sake. See that natural crate was hidden by the f whatever things were there. like covering the nitro crates and I'm supposed to somehow see them still. Oh, Traveler's Tales. Oh, another, another project. Oh my god. They're gonna make me hate Crash before Crash 4 comes out. Actually, in the game. 
mean, it's quiet for you. Just, you know. Have I even hit one checkpoint yet? Like, they haven't even given me the satisfaction of one check... Not even one checkpoint! Oh, for fuck's sake! My patience is going thin. If I was on world, fi world 5, maybe I could stomach this shit, but like, I'm on world 4. And my patience is like, very low. I need, I need that final stretch motivation, that world... I didn't even see that nitro. There's a green, like, treasure chest right there that blends in with the nitro. I didn't see it. I need that. It's the final world motivation to keep me going right now. Because this, this we're still on world 4 bullshit. This is still world 4 bullshit. It's, it's not enough to keep me going. Look at how well that nitro just camouflages next to the tr the crate. I mean the treasure chest. Look at that. checkpoint just all this shit no checkpoint all of this shit I bet there's one hiding somewhere like oh I had Aku Aku I just lost him wow and I guess all it took was me losing Aku Aku to realize I had Aku Aku how lucky I was how lucky I was optional thing like a, ch a checkpoint we feel like adding one we might you know no but this level no this level doesn't do that no. no just three bomb projectiles four bomb projectiles back to back to back to back to back checkpoint is that kind of cheese <laughs> Is that a fruit checkpoint like Satsuma? Like, oh, another projectile? Yeah, yeah. Checkpoint? <laughs> Is that a language? Checkpoints? Like Italian? Like Checkapointa? Ooh. La Cucaracha Checkapointa. Ooh. Oh! How wonderful! How wonderful! Checkpoint? No! Is that a spice? Sugar checkpoint and everything nice?
the amount of the amount of projectiles is just asinine. 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 I swear to god if that's a checkpoint. Last time we saw one check when I was like so hidden that you wouldn't even know it was there. I have a feeling there's another one of those and I'm just passing it because there's no way they expected me to do all this BS at one go. Ain't no way. I don't even give a chance to fall. Now those projectiles are just horrible because you don't always see them and they just trap you in an area. Oh, if I didn't have Aku, I'd have been toast. That was where the checkpoint was. Oh my god, for fuck's sake. If you ever do a highlights video, please don't click on top of the stream. I paid someone to do a highlights video and they never delivered it. I only just recently got the refund. I almost didn't get the refund. I told them, like, yo, if you don't refund me, like, I'm going public with, like, who you are. But everyone knows who the person is, so... They don't, they just don't know that this happened. So, if I said it, it would be a big thing in the community. So, I was like, yo, just pay me the money back. And I'm not going to tell everyone you scammed me. Anyway, the point is, the video didn't get done. This is a video I paid for, like, back in December. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about highlight things, because I'm so bad with them. Like, that's why I hired someone to, like, do it for me, but clearly that didn't work, so... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. There were some really good moments that I've had in streams. I was like, man, this is good in the highlight video. What's next? The Nitro going to drop and hit me? Oh, look at that fish who just swam in my... Imagine if I was right there. I would have been toast. There would have been no way of avoiding that in time. So, a lot of things have been done since the last checkpoint. More of these projectiles. No checkpoint still. Higher twit. Tip barely uploads to his own channel. Let alone editing for me. What's up, Adam? Hit the Aku. Hit the Aku. Why did you go that far? You wasted my Aku. And I still got no checkpoint, so. And there's an enemy right there. I was spinning, but apparently that doesn't matter. All the way back to the submarine. How do you go from vehicle back to like regular crash and there's not even a checkpoint there? It's clearly the place where you put a checkpoint. Hiya Sam. Speaking of Sam, he was coming at me on Twitter like just today. I was in the middle of responding but I had to do the stream so I wonder what he's saying about me now. Even see what hit me. I swear down, if I was safe state in this game, I would have been done by now. 
and everyone everyone here knows that if I was safe state in the game I would have been done a long time ago if I was safe stating every five seconds every little bit of progress I would have been so done I would have finished with sanity by now That's what I get for being authentic. but apparently apparently they weren't in the mood to you know register my input so here we are person is not actually attacking me. Not gonna lie, the underworld stage are never my favorite part of Crash 3, but it seems like a whole nother level. But yeah, I mean, the Crash 3 ones were not this annoying, I don't think. They were never my favorite either, but like... It wasn't this bad. But I mean, I played on End Saints. So I don't know if there was some kind of quality of life update that I'm missing. Okay. I'm trying to hold on to Aku this time. Checkpoint, checkpoint. I know there's a life there, but I'm not risking it. Okay. Why does that never want to die? Okay, there's an awkward. Oh, projectile and human. Oh, we're going down. Okay. Where am I going? I can't see shit. Oh, we're still going down. Okay, I thought I was going that way. It looks a bit confusing, but... Oh my god, I saw the enemy. I was like, fuck, hit the checkpoint. Right next to the checkpoint projectile. It's 
So I need to play Crash Team since people keep saying it's better than this game. I love this game. So Crash Team must be... Oh, Crash Team's better than this. Easily. Eas easily. Easily. This is like... And I just beat Crash 3 yesterday. So like when I say this, I really mean this shit. This is like another company going, Oh, Crash 3. Okay, we can make something like that. And then it's like, you know, they tried, but it's not it. You know, Mom, can I have Crash 3? No, son, we have Crash 3 at home. Crash 3 at home is this. Oh, I lost Aku Aku, apparently. Alright, check that at least. This decently generous with the lives because otherwise, oh, this guy's gonna shoot. Shit, I don't know. Get the fuck in. <sighs> One more from this world, and then boss. Is the premise this course to the thing? Well, I never actually created that this course, so I have no idea. I don't really be on Discord like that. Maybe I should make an official friend of this Discord. I don't know. I can't be bothered. Maybe like a membership thing. Well, I have none of those, so. Wearing Weathering Heights. Not used to the weather here. I a wimp. You call me a wimp? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, a regular level. This song sounds like it's really trying so hard to be epic, but it's just falling a bit flat. Wow, that killed me. That killed me. Okay. Okay. Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Traveler's Tales. see his attack. I'm just gonna TNT him. Oh, apparently that does nothing. I was nowhere near the TNT crate. Five, ten, you can still avoid six hours. Yeah, I don't think I'm avoiding six hours. <laughs> But I'd rather cross six hours and finish it than not cross six hours and not finish it. Okay? As long as... As long as you finish it, you can take ten for all I care. No, I care. It's not, it's not taking ten hours. It's 2 a.m. Not used to the weather here. I a wimp. Okay. 
Man, I wonder if this game was my childhood. Like, how would I feel about playing it now? Maybe I'd be in love with it. Tuh. I know when you're a kid, you have higher tolerance for these things. Apparently the TNT does nothing to the enemies. I mean, to be fair, the stream includes the intro, the cutscenes, the responding to chat, the bullshit on stage 17. So actual gameplay with this. You see, this is why we need Andy in the chat. You see, I'm here feeling down and shit, and he's giving me he's giving me the, the, the calculations. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do this on the six. Fuck it. I'm motivated now. We're doing it. I can't even tell if the enemy is actually aiming at me or not. Some of them don't aim, they have like a set trajectory. Am I even gonna bother those crates? No. I'm right next to him and the spin doesn't count. There's an Aku in there. I feel like the only people that think this game was the best are those who didn't play the original trilogy. That's happened I tell people say it's the best Crash game. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to just say nostalgia goals, but, you know, when this is what is crashed to you, it might be weird just like someone saying, no, the trilogy, you know. I'm kind of mad that I haven't gotten invincibility since I started playing. It would have been nice to experience. Am I supposed to double jump this, or like, is there something I'm missing? Oh, I was supposed to grab on. I, I didn't see the grabbing thing. Alright, that's my bad. I literally just thought I was supposed to like make that. I was looking at chat and I just saw the enemy just hit me. Why did they make me so fucking slow? Traveler's Tales, did you work on a Sonic game? We don't know what speed is. This was so much faster than the other game. Hit the life. I should have hit the life. Well, bye to the life. Ugh. I lost the subscriber. Wow. Bounce off of that. Okay. I wasn't touching it. to the one up. Oh, I was supposed to get it myself. Oh, we're doing that again. I need the life.
So if I stand here. Oh, wow. I was about to test that. I stand right next to the box. If I jump without moving the analog, he lands on it. <sighs> Good hitboxes? What are those? I heard that's a type of clothing. I'm not fucking with this whole TNT situation. Just destroy them. Why would you put this in the foreground to distract me? Whoa, that backfired. And I just covered a life with TNT. Uh, a bunch of missed lives, but you know, it is what it is. I don't even care that I missed like a million crates. I got three lives out of it. Where was I even going? I don't even know which way the right way now. Well, it's not there. Give this game out of 10. I'm feeling a high four. Things that these objects that show up in the foreground just like completely just like, like what is that? How the fuck am I get? Ignore that and just jump it. Aren't you tired, bro? I need to finish this game. And people are gonna try again, hella disrespectful, and think it's not gonna happen, so now it has to happen. Unfortunately, that's just the way it has to be. This is probably the longest I spent on a wall. Oh, I've already lost my outfit. Why can't I get up there? Oh. Okay. <sighs> the quicker he beats the game, so he doesn't have to play it. Exactly. These hazards are barely visible.
this, is this gonna kill me? Wait. All right, now would be a good time for a checkpoint. Come on, Traveler's Tales, I believe in you, thank you. Now would be a good time for one of those metal boxes that gives invisibility. There we go. See, I told you you could do good Traveler's Tales. Now would be a good time for an Aku Aku. Let's we'll see, we'll see if I can get get three times lucky with this shit. Okay, maybe not that. Yeah, this is clearly Aku Aku territory. This is Aku Aku territory. This is Aku Aku territory. This this right here is the definition of Aku Aku territory. Ugh. Like, do they expect magic from your boy? Do they expect magic? Just watch it. I swear, like, oh, imagine going for the relics. Yeah, couldn't be me. <laughs> All right, they're still with this boss. Take a pee break. What's the lost area look like? Yeah. Atmospheric pressure. <sighs> hey, look! The orange boy likes to fly! Time to earn your wings, kid! Earn my wings. I could just drink a Red Bull. Oh, vehicle boss. Is this doing anything? Of course not. Come on. Oh, he did definitely did something. I'm just trying to figure out how to hit him before I even worry about staying alive. you need to actually hurt him? I don't know. Oh, he's taking a little bit of damage. A very, very, very small amount. Can the chat be about something else, please? Like, seriously, like, you have plenty of places to talk about this. The way he's flashing is when you know, like, he's actually taking damage, but... He doesn't take that much damage. projectiles.
inflicts very minimal damage, but even when he does. He's taking a little bit of damage, but it's like nothing. And that attack is so strong. And he just once he once he's got you, he's got you. way to go to you dodge that. Barely enough time to react to that. The trick to avoid the laser... Yeah, I figured that out. But the problem is, the controls are inverted. So when the laser is coming at me, I'm trying to like remember that it's inverted. And avoid the circle. And I'm like, oh wait, it's inverted. So instead of like of going in the right circle, I'm going in the opposite direction. that he seems to take more damage. Okay, I think I'm getting a bit better at dodging these projectiles. A bit. Our health is kind of similar right now actually. Gets you a man, you fuck. Ugh. Probably gonna die on, on this, but I'm getting better.
even still taking damage? Like, what the fuck? Well, I am. That much is sure. That much I'm sure of. to shoot at the part of the body where the attack is coming from otherwise it won't do damage and only when Aku Aku is there I mean I can't control when Aku Aku is there but shooting at where the attack is coming from okay that makes sense because I was not taking a lot of damage hard to do that when he's like shooting serious level like like the laser for example like like, like to try and even shoot that area like without taking a huge laser hit like, that's when he takes the most damage and that thing is so hard to dodge to fly time to earn your wings kid should have started the stream on like 12 drags on as well. Like he takes such little damage like Such little damage for things, like I swear, like Yeah, that's the time when he takes the most damage it seems. When he does that move. Not this one, but the one before. Yeah. 
have more health than him right now. Just an endurance test. Once you know how to dodge the projectiles, it's just like how long can you endure the same attacks over and over again with minimal damage on your end. Of course that hit me. Just do the attack that takes more damage, please. Like, seriously. He's avoiding doing the big attack that takes the most damage. Mental mask indicates which attack is going to happen, so make sure to. Hmm. I don't even see that. I don't even know what that means. All I know is this dude hasn't taken damage in like a minute. And I just took almost everything I have. that seems to take the most damage. When he does that, I can actually get some decent damage on him. But he doesn't like doing that move. So... They mean where the elemental monster is circling is where the attack is going to come from. No, I know that. I know that. I know that much, but... problem is that he's not doing the right attacks, aka the ones that take mad damage. Like this one. If they increase the damage that that crash gave by like, I don't know. 50% or something. This will be a different boss. It just drags. It drags. And I bet I'm gonna watch like some some, some pro at the game, like beat this thing in like 45 seconds. And I'm gonna be like, oh man. Yeah. I just have to do so so and so thing. You don't even get enough time to avoid that. Like you can see kind of where it's going, where the safe area is. Pram, I bet you're going to take an hour in this. 
Yeah, you're just here for like negative, like the opposite of moral support. That's what you're even doing. this game I'm going to watch a long play of this game like someone who's skilled and see or well, watch them make you feel like shit or like I just wanna see like what a pro like plays this game like because they're gonna put me to shame but like This is an endurance test. It's the same attacks over and over again and Crash does fuck all damage. It's like he should be doing twice this level of damage. It just goes on forever. It just goes on forever. It just goes on forever. Like, this enemy should be taking way more damage than, than what he takes. No, I'm not giving up for those of you who think that's what it is. We're not doing that. Oh yeah, also I'm live. Wow. Um, no. Let's see the guy who does this in like 30 seconds and let's see what he's doing. Six to cast the music. Four minutes. 
just gonna watch him do it verbatim. Verbatim. Verbatim, we're going to watch what he's doing because clearly some learning needs to be done. How does he even do that flip? I don't even know about that. It seems to be doing a decent bit more damage than I am on that attack. I don't know. I don't even know how to do the flip. The fact that this is a four minute video shows that the boss does drag on. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we know that he takes a lot of damage on this thing. I still feel like he's... I feel like he's still giving off more damage. Okay, there we go. Shoot the part where he's attacking. Yeah, I know you guys said that, but like, it's just, it, it's clearer when you watch it. Because I was shooting the area, but like, there's like, a, there's like a rhythm to it. Like, he was really like, like I had to see it. Yeah, he's shooting right there. It's amazing how they expect you to just like, figure this out. Like, you know, like, shoot that exact area, the other areas don't count, kind of like, all these little things that you think they'll say, that they just don't. The problem with the lasers, that you can't shoot there for too long, because then it's gonna, you know, hurt you. Man, he's already at 34% health. I don't even know how to do that flip move. I have no idea how to do that. Bro, this game plays this year what we would say. Huh. Even the guy in the video is almost dead. He's at 24%. This boss is still dragging on. This this should not take over three minutes. It's the same attacks that just spam. It should this, it drags on. It it drags the fuck on. Like I stand by that. I stand by that. Hold on, let me unmute this thing. I stand by that. Um, it just drags. Like you be doing dodging the same attacks, thinking, okay, this thing's still happening. Even watching the guy who's supposed to be way better than me spent four minutes on it that's that's a drag a boss should not take it i know it's not even a final boss it should not take four minutes if the attacks are just the same things looping hey, look the orange how do i do the flip thing though because he was doing some kind of flip move. Like, I, I don't, I can't do that move. Triggers. The triggers. Oh, no one mentioned the flip move. the triggers all right that that part helps though that part
Ugh. This is a fucking drag. Okay. I've got so far. Okay, do the do the big rock thing. They okay, can do that as well. Die, you've got nothing left. You've got nothing left. Stop holding on. Just fucking die. Bitch. Fruit bazooka. To fire a fruit at a target, hold L1 to raise the gun. Aim in the direction of one as they press circle to fire. Yeah, we had that on Crash 3. The main thing that was that helped was, yeah, the shooting, the ex when he's doing the ball thing, shooting there, that helped save some time. But it's, it, it was, I get that some people said it, but like, it just wasn't specific. I needed to see it, like, you know what I mean, like, five hours, fifty-five minutes, you've been live, huh? <laughs> One world left. It's the final stretch, people. And the two masks also indicate where to go. Mm. It's not a blind playthrough anymore. You had a look. Well, it was blind the first ten times I tried the boss. Anyway, I'm gonna take a quick pee break. So yeah, I'ma be back um, in a minute or so. So yeah, be right, be right back.
<sighs> Wait, what the fuck is this room? Hold on. Why does this room only have... Oh, it has fire levels. I thought it had like three for a sec. Oh, okay, it's just how it looks from here. You just woke up. Oh, don't worry. There's probably like three hours left in the stream anyway. I've got like five levels left, so... Yeah, about three more hours. I just want Clement to play since my Senate. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should cancel the Road to Crash 4 stream. This is, this is exhausting me. Ah. Uh. The final stretch. Crash and burn. Hmm. Cold gold rush. Medieval madness. Great balls of fire. Vortex Vortex. Let's go. The stream's about to hit the six hour time limit. Well, here we are again. I wouldn't necessarily call this irony, but don't you find it a little odd that we keep meeting under these same world domination circumstances? Okay. No more, Mr. Nice Rim. And it's let me win for once. By four, we're done. Don't worry, Dr. Cortex. Now that my element nah, of the stream is. Capacity, we're six hours in. By seven hours, we're done. That's it. We're six hours in. Before the seven hour mark, main game done. Hey, Paramanoid, I miss so much of the stream. It's my first free game I ever played, and I love it so much. Nostalgia. In that case, it's probably good you missed the stream because I was not being nice to the game. Oh, no. Mr. Krabs, you want a piece of this? hours and one minute in. By the moment the seventh hour hits, you won't even see my face because we'll be done. Okay? No more mis- like, it's final stretch, which means I've got energy now because I know it's almost over. I'm gonna demolish this fucking trick. Why did I hit the switch? It was Nitro. Oh shit. Bonus route. There's only five levels in a boss. By the seventh hour, you won't even see my face by the seventh. I'll be gone. Asleep. Because we'll be done by then. You think this is a game? You, you think this is a motherfucking game? Like, I, I ain't got no more time. No more time. Nitro hitbox was us. Luckily, Arku saved my ass. I thought 
feel like we're going to be seeing his face then, uh, especially if we do some more bonus shoes. I only go for the bonus shoes because I want the lives. Like, I ain't trying to get game over in the middle of a level, knowing like how much work it's going to require to backtrack. What the fuck hit me? I don't even know what hit me. Is it the bird? It must be the bird. I don't know. Yeah, those birds are weird. Crates. We're almost at the end then, right? I really thought I was a goner when I did that. Okay. What's your favorite crash stage? Like one stage? I don't know. Probably, I have to go through Crash 1 again and decide. Wow. I haven't seen the Angel in so long. Not because I haven't died, but because I just haven't seen the Angel. I'm surprised I survived that, and I'm annoyed that I missed the Arkham. to the sound effects they got quiet uh. why don't you like crash street you said I don't like crash street thank you okay I need to use this Aku wisely so I can get through this storm section I already lost it. Checkpoint, boys. Life, boys. Yeah, I don't understand how those birds work. They're on some weird shit. Oh, would you look at that? Doubt in your boy. Gem in hand, crystal in tow. Six hours, seven minutes, four stages left. You will not be seeing my face at seven hours unless the credits are like 25 minutes long. Then maybe you'll see my face. You won't be seeing it. You won't be seeing it. You think you'll be, you won't be seeing shit. You're gonna miss my face. You're gonna be like, oh shit, bro, it's actually kinda handsome. We we're too busy watching him failing, so we, 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 ain't, we ain't even realize. You're gonna be missing seeing that face. Gold Rush. Let's go. <sighs> they're not ready for the. They're not ready for the comeback story. They're not. They're not ready. Uh, 
Imagine if after everything, the last world was like the absolute easiest one and I just breeze through it with like no effort. That would be funny. And I lost my up here. Alright, give me that up here. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but this le this game hasn't had any of those like levels where you like ride the hogs and shit. I don't think I've seen anything like that. No! Ugh. Did the music just change? Okay, checkpoint. Okay, progress. Lives. Man, I'm breezing. Did I actually did I accidentally do the walls out of order? Is this really the first world? And I started off with like the second world. I went two, three, four, five, and then just went back to one like <laughs> Boy I am breezing. Shit. That ground there. Okay, couldn't see that. Amazing design. I guess we'll do it this way. Uh oh. Or is it just Crash 3.5? It, it's it's neither. It's not Crash 4. It's not Crash 3.5 because for it to be 3.5, it'd have to be better than 3. It's just the game that I'm happy is getting retconned. I don't even want to touch those crates. Oh, not this shit. Just when I was getting happy that things were starting to get, like, good. And they put me on this slow fuck. There has got to be a way to do this faster. There's got to be, like, a run button or something. There's got to be, like, a... A button that does that faster that they just didn't teach. Retcon Toys R Us said every Crash game is canon to its own timeline. Well, whatever timeline this one is in is one that I don't have to recognize because I'm in the I'm in the it's about time timeline. So this timeline is irrelevant to me. Okay, what? How do I go faster than this? Okay, we mash. Okay, mash X, then you press square to do the, the, the higher up thing. Which, why couldn't they just tell you this? I don't know. It'd be too easy, I guess, if they actually told you how to play the game. You know, tell them the controls? No. Manual? Manual? You mean the car? Manual? So well tonight once I beat this game that everyone thought I was gonna beat. Give me 
that checkpoint. 102 crates, so we're like halfway in then. Death route? Yeah, we're avoiding that at all costs. Three, you had way better control of it. Anyway, another checkpoint. You guys sure I didn't do the walls out of order? <laughs> like, are you sure? Are you sure this ain't world one and I just started on world two? Oh, well, I lost the off Clearly, that's not the way. How many nights have I got? Good slide. Yeah, I tried sliding before, but I could have sworn, like, I did a slide before, and I still got hit. Hitboxes, you know? This doesn't even look like one of the things you can climb on, but, you know, I guess you can in this game. It looks like ground I'm supposed to be on top of, but... I ain't complaining. I don't really care. Okay, give me another arc loop because I don't feel safe right now. Come on, hitboxes! God fucking hell. Hitboxes are so shite. I really thought that was about to backfire on me. I couldn't see shit there. There's a guy there hitting TNT, apparently. 159. Okay, we're getting closer to the end of the level then. I'll say, I guess about three quarters in. I like how Prim hasn't even used the bazooka. Oh, uh, yeah, the bazooka. I forgot about that. Mm. It's definitely retcon. They just said different timeline to make people who like these games happier. I definitely believe that was it, because they wanted to just say, yep, it's retconned, but then that would have pissed a lot of people off. So, like, eh, different timeline, yeah. I'm new to this channel. Can someone explain what this channel is all about? Oh, I play games. I give my opinions on games. I do music-related stuff and anything else, I guess, that I feel like talking about, really, you know. Oh, look, Gamer Guide is back. Don't worry, Gamer Guide, you made it to the near end of the stream. This is the part where you get to watch me, like, win. Almost. I'm not even bothering those crates, fuck it, no. I can't, I don't, I don't trust the Nitro. Of course I was supposed to know Nitro was going to be there. Of course I was supposed to know Nitro was going to be there. Of course I was supposed to know Nitro was going to be there.
It's not close to the end. Prim's gonna take 50. Oh my god. Mr. Negative again. Seven hours, we're gonna see. You're not gonna be seeing your boy at seven hours. Let's not go there, okay? Your boy's gonna be fast asleep by then. Fast asleep. I'm going Aku Aku now, so they ain't, they ain't killing your boy. They took your they took the Aku Aku. Alright. Two levels down. What are we? Six hours twenty. Okay. So uh, we started this world at six hours. It's six hours twenty. That's ten minutes per level. Three levels left, that's six fifty. The boss. Another hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, these levels are pretty long though. Okay. Medieval madness. Okay, cool. Bring it! Bring the bandicoot. Probably even making a new Ram Dream featuring Crash. Oh my god. One of these, of course. Okay. We already know what we're in for now. Okay, where am I going? Is this the longest stream we've done? <laughs> on this channel, yeah, this is the longest stream I've done. I had an E3, an E3 stream on my old channel, which, which um, I think was almost eight hours. Or if not eight hours, so I'm not getting all the breaks. So yeah, I think that's the longest stream I've ever done. So that was like a bunch of these three conferences, and then in between it, like playing some games and shit. So in fact, in one of those E3 conferences, I was playing Crash One and Two, or it was two different E3 conferences. I think one I did Crash One, the other I did Crash Two. That was when I beat them. I wasn't touching it. Okay, then actually not. Oh, 
good time for a checkpoint. Now would be a great time for a checkpoint. There we go. 42 out of 166. So maybe about a third in or almost a third in. This guy doesn't like to let me pass, but he's gonna let me pass because I said so. Yeah, they dropped this when Monkey Ball exists. Actually, this might have been before Monkey Ball. Hold on. Let me not get the history wrong. Maybe Sega saw this and went, Oh, we can make this into a full-blown franchise and make it better. And then they made Monkey Ball. Nitro just waiting for me. Waiting for your boy. Oh, the checkpoint waiting for your boy though. might fix that. Get up there. There's a checkpoint there. Don't do anything else until you hit that. Okay. Okay, that the one plus point in this way. Enemy. Telling me this way is easier. I don't know. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. Oh my god! Well, that's not the way. Oh my god! Oh god! in your boy who was doubting your boy six hours 28 okay six hours 28 that's the third level down we're on pace we are on pace we are on pace okay honestly the fourth world was horrible horrible that shit was horrible because fifth world I don't want to say I'm breezing through it, but I mean, compared to fourth world, like, like fourth, fourth world, some bullshit. Look at, look at the, look, just look at the aesthetic of that shit. Wait, no, that was third world. Look at the aesthetic of that shit. 
This looks chill. These next two stages might not be that easy. Great balls of fire. Oh. I think the thing, the thing I'm most worried about at this point is the boss. I know the boss is going to be some bullshit. Even if I was at on pace by the time I got to the boss, the boss would probably be my biggest downfall. Oh, is it a chase level? Oh no, it's even worse. It's more of this slow climbing shit. Where I can't actually see anything. Ah. Oh. 25 lives. Is that a chase level or not? It's just like. Huh. I can tell this is gonna be some bullshit. Platforms are switching. Okay, so we have to worry about that now. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, Aku needs to be gotten. No! <laughs> Next to the check. That was some bullshit. Come on, tw we're on level 20. This is level 24. Yeah, level 24. Come on, out of 25. Come on. Shouldn't have even gone on, man. I should have just kept going. But you know, I'm gonna pace myself. Hit the checkpoint. Okay. Should I hit the bonus route? I have 24 lives. I don't know. I'll see how long it is. I just wanted the last anyway. Oh, I got one life out of it. The bonus is some crash hook. I mean, bonus suits usually look dreadful anyway, so. Okay, so there's gonna be a bunch of jumps here, so I gotta make sure I go early. is that oh I thought it was an enemy oh, I hate controlling this thing and I lost my Aku should have paced myself that's what I get oh no Checkpoint would have been nice, but you know. 
Vortex as well. Do not allow that. Okay, checkpoint. Checkpoints. Okay, little checkpoint there. Crash 4 is definitely going to be game of the year. Unless Watch Dogs Legion decides to like come through. Oh, Nitro. Right at the jump. Baku, thank you. Alive, thank you. This world is better than the last one. Another checkpoint. Oh my god. I already like this world more than the last one. The next level after this and the boss have to be so horrible for me to even consider putting this as worse than the last one. World 4 was horrible. Oh, horrible. Today, today, horrible. I even know what to do on the chase sequences. Like, it's more intuitive than all the previous ones. Oh shit. Ugh. Well, we hit a checkpoint. Let me just save state here. Not because I'm trying to cheat, but because I'm going to change these settings. Okay, what did we do last time? Plugin settings. I put it on Direct 3D software. Okay. Why is it spinning that way? We didn't come from there. We should be spinning the other way. I don't I don't fucking know. Crystal. Come on, end the near. I mean, sometimes the crystals be early as fuck, so. Oh. Where the fuck are we going? Okay, these ones aren't gonna like get destroyed on me. I feel like that crate is gonna fuck up my jump. Oh right, he he can destroy crates. Never mind. What are we on? What are we on right now? What is that that we're on? What do we call that thing? Pace. That's what we're on. We are on pace. Right? Isn't that what I said? Isn't that what I said? We are on pace. We are on pace. Let me save this shit and change the graphical settings again. On pace. Making the, the kind of progress that only champions do. The comeback stories. The only champions make. This is what we call on pace. Let me just switch the graphical settings again right now. All of the negativity in chat. And it still couldn't drop your boy. They still couldn't drop your boy. Now, hold on one sec. Let me check the... Oh, they had a Direct 3D11 software. I thought that was hardware. Huh. So if I use that, no, I still can't. Up, I can't. I still can't up the resolution though. All right, cool. Last level, then boss. Is there like a final, final boss after the boss or something? Like, just, just so I know. Crash, you've been a naughty boy. But now that's Best going to end. to chill and and finish and work. Oh yeah, of course. Chilling with your boy is the only way to do it. So last level. Yeah, last level. <laughs> okay. Alright. Mm. Off to a great start, I see. I did it again. I, I, I thought I was at... I thought I had room. I, I thought... 
you know, these hitboxes are all over the place. One minute they're too generous, next minute. This is about to be a chase, isn't it? Am I even touching that thing? Okay, so we can't do that either. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Listen. The doubt is coming. The doubt is seeping back in from the chat. Okay, look. We're going to reload the save file because those lives didn't need to be lost. Okay, we're going to reload the save file. We're going to reload the save. And that never happened, basically. Oh my god, I, was, I wasn't even touching this shit. This is gonna be a, a, a real test of the hitboxes. A real test of hitboxes. Oh my god, I was not touching that. even touching the shit and it's just like I was not even oh I'm not trying to hate for him but hey 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 the whole world easy just to hit you with the cortex of vortex just just get, build your confidence up just so they can hit you with this bullshit they knew if they start with this shit on this world you just you just, you, you just give up they have to put it at the end so it's like oh it's the end I, i'll actually i'll actually try to be it i won't just rage quit now because it's the fucking end how did i miss that break so they, there's a pit there, there's lasers, and they want me to jump and turn, but then the hitboxes are completely ass. Almost fell as well. Oh my god! Wait for it to drop. Aku, come and save me, thank you. Oh, this guy's gonna try and bounce me off. How are we doing this? That's how we're doing it. Oh, that's that doesn't look good. Oh well, bye Aku. Bye Crash. I hope. I, oh, I was not. Those edges are just iffy. I 
I was looking at the drop shadow of the Wampa Group thinking that was me. checkpoint would be nice because morale is going down right now morale is going down I think I think I deserve a checkpoint just for that section but travelers tales don't seem to agree I guess I have to really wait for that thing to get low okay I was standing on the platform, come on, come on, that was bullshit. You put Nitro there and then you make the hitbox of the platform so fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Oh, they just gave me an Arkham, wow. I wish I'd kept that for a better section, but, well, here we are. This is my problem with this game. It's the weird mixing of colors. Like, the hazard area is light blue, and the platforms have a light blue ring to them. So, like, you'd be jumping, and it's like, the hazards look similar to the parts that you're supposed to be on. Like, there's no difference. Everything's just bluish purple. It's so stupid. I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. Oh, at least we got a checkpoint. I think Sony's graphics on MB. I'm gonna watch a long play of this game when I'm done. I mean, not today, hell no. The trauma is still fresh, but like, once I've cooled down and this game has been beaten before the seven hour mark hits, you know, then I'll take some time out, maybe a week or so for now, and just like, I'll just take a look. Take a look at a long play of this game. I see how they're beating it in like two and a half hours. Barely even 10% in based on these crates. I don't think I missed that many. Wasn't I standing on the platform? Was I or was I not standing on that platform? This is fucking retarded. Crash oh. Bandicoot, the Wrath of Traveler's Tales. They sure showed me. Where am I jumping to? You see, I don't even I, I couldn't tell what that was. Was that ground? Was that hazard ground? Like How was I not standing on the platform? Ugh.
So apparently that's some kind of dangerous ground. I jumped over it. Oh, you can see I wasn't even standing on it. You may want to quickly swap to software mode. The resolution sucks. They may help with some of these. Oh. I don't know if I saw any color differences, but okay. You know what? I've got nothing to lose at this point. This isn't being counted, by the way. This time spent switching to software mode. It looks the same. This looks like a sea of bluish purple. Yeah, I don't think it looks much different. The whole level is one color. Yeah, the whole thing is like the hazards. The hazards, are, it's it's the same basically. I I'm not really seeing a difference, you know. So I'm just gonna like put it back on 4K. You won't count towards the time, don't worry. I mean, if we're going there, then we should take out all the toilet breaks as well while we're at it. Like, 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 you know what I mean? Like. If you really want to be fair to your boy, we'll take out the toilet breaks. Oh, the night show is about to get. See those black lines? I didn't even. I didn't even see that hazard. I just ran into it because I did not see it. This is some bullshit. Yeah, I, I suspect they're an emulator issue. Oh no, that other problem is showing up now. You can see the screen is getting all fucked. Yeah, I give up. Software mode. Software mode at this point. Hazard right there. With these hitboxes, this area is just fucked. Nitro TNT. Oh, luckily I had Aku Aku because I was about to be very pissed. Very pissed I was about to be. Very pissed. Pit pit. Speak. I was about to be so pissed if I died there. Oh, the game is lucky Aku Aku was there because otherwise the game was going to feel my wrath. Fuck Cortex's wrath. Fuck Traveler's Tales' wrath, which we felt, by the way. Hazard ground that you can barely tell is a hazard. Because it's literally the same color as the main ground, just with some little shocky shit. Nitro path, yay! Oh, invincibility! I thought I wasn't gonna see this in the game. Yeah, boy!
Oh, it's over. Wow. That's how long it lo- Are you serious? That was fucking shit. I kind of need it for here. Ugh. Are you still on pace to be seven hours? We're at 6.54 if we don't include the toilet breaks. I don't know. Yeah, it was ridiculously short. I was like, what the fuck? Especially when this out, this, this section is here. Okay, a long jump is gonna be required. I got two Arkus, so... I ain't too worried. Oh, I'm not worried at all. I ain't worried at all. 6.55 and 12 seconds. Okay. Ugh. We're counting every... Of course you are, Spidey. Of course you are. Hit that save. That wasn't too bad once I finished doing it and I don't have to do it again. <sighs> Crunch time. That's probably what they were doing when they were developing the game, clearly, for it to come out like this. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. Well, I just the horse. It's good it doesn't always say, because I can save my life. Sad. Bandicoot frame into a pump. Come and get it. Final boss. There's no other boss after this, right? Like, just to confirm. Like, this is the final one. 656. Oh yeah, let me change it back now because fuck it, I want 4K. If I'm gonna play this thing. I'm gonna play it in high quality. Damn it! No graphical glitches, please. Okay, they're not playing no games. Can I just go over to Cortex? No, I don't think I can. Oh, Uko Uko's there as well. Okay. Can we get to the part where I can actually hurt you? I don't see no health bar. Am I supposed to go to that? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go to the other guy. Well, I, I can't seem to reach him. Well. Count as a hit. There's no health bar here. Oh my god. Inverted controls for fuck's sake. Oh, inverted controls when I'm trying to like get the hit on this guy. So he punches Cortex. Oh my god! Oh no, he's not done. He's not done. Okay. I hate these inverted controls, I swear. He gets Cortex out of anger. 
I whack Cortex. We could, we could take some back. That's hit one. I don't know how many hits it is. We can hope for three, but like, let's be realistic, right? Aku Aku would be super nice, but you know, it's Traveler's Tales. What the? Wait, I'm not dead? I'm a oh, I'm not dead. Now I'm dead. Four hits. Okay. In oh my god, inverted controls! The inverted controls are throwing me off with that fucking bazooka. Hit two. Okay, this is when it gets real. Stop. Oh, there's a warning before it, before it fires up. Okay, I didn't see the warning shot. I didn't see the warning. I was kind of just winging it. Hit one. Which one's gonna light up? Hit three, come on. gonna throw me this time. Oh shit. Oh, oh my god. I, I barely have time to react to those lasers, man. Vortex, hit one. <sighs> okay, get some, get some crazy things on there. Go back to the fireballs. Oh, I got frozen. Can I just use the, the 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 bazooka on Cortex and just skip this animal? No, that would be too fair. Travel stores wouldn't allow fair. All right, hit 
two times. Something's wrong with the, the stream timer. It seems to be moving at like 25% faster speed. It really should be like 6 hours 45 minutes at this point, but you know. I guess YouTube will have to fix that glitch, you know. Not really much I can do about that. I was gonna turn a face cam, but honestly, like, I, you know, it wouldn't matter at this point. I'm too focused to even do that. I'm just like, I just want to finish this fucking thing. Oh, for fuck's sake! Making the fire shit from the floor. Good hit. Okay, now the lasers. That's the shit that. That's the shit that goes crazy. Okay, pay attention to the radars. Okay, I'm hit you with the floor. Even touching it, I was in the middle. inverted controls
Oh my god! Why did they invert the controls by force? Oh my fucking god! Why did they invert the fucking controls by force? Oh, I'm only on hit two now. Hit three, fire comes through the ground. Alright, shit starts to get real here. Okay, it's not gonna be eight hours. Come on, that's ridiculous. Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, right, right. Come on. Fucking four hits. Couldn't have just been three. What hit was that? I'm not even keeping track. If the lower comes through the ground, okay, yeah, so that was the second hit. Alright, well, I was gonna hit the ground. Third hit. Come on. Alright, shit gets real. One hit, my hands are starting to cramp up now. Dead ass. Oh, fuck's sake. Two hits. Then the fire again. I'm making it a third hit more often nowadays, though. If I was safe state, I would have been done. Oh, that's the pain as well. Knowing that if I was cheating, I would have been done. the laser. The hitboxes just decided that the laser was going to take five times the area. First hit. <sighs> Sick. 
second hit. Now the floor turns into lava. When I actually get to the part where I go super him on fourth hit, I bet the aim is gonna fuck up on the inverted shit and then I miss it. I'm fucked. Alright, just gonna hit the floor again. Missed that. Okay, third hit. The lasers. With the shit boxes. done by then. I didn't think he was going to keep going. There was no chance there. That was the furthest I got. I honestly thought it was done. I was getting ready to bazooka. I survived like two laser phases and it still wasn't fucking done. One hit. Two hits. Man, if I'd say stay in, I'd be sleeping by now. <laughs> oh. I'll be asleep by now. <laughs> oh. Literally cramping up right now.
Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of your Okay, let's get back to the action. I almost had it on that one run. I just... I assumed that it was done. Only reason I assumed it was done is because I thought I had to bazooka him in time. And I was afraid that if I kept trying to dodge projectiles, that I'll miss my bazooka in shot. That's why I was kind of rushing to the bazooka, like... I'm not realizing he wasn't done with this shit yet. First hit. My hands are literally cramping up. Okay, freezing things. Fucking inverted. Second hit. Oh. Imagine if they gave you Aku Aku. Oh my god. Just one lifeline. Right, the boss had actually, like, have been done. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Third hit one goes on for ages. times 
get him, 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 get On fast the hold R2 R1. <sighs> Can't you ever let me win? What do you want from me, you Cretan? Cortex! You realize that Crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, and we can resurrect the masks one last time. He doesn't plan on getting Destroy the gems either. Once and for all. He doesn't plan on getting the gems, that's for sure. He doesn't plan on getting them. He's done. You can have the gems, Uka Uka. You can have those gems. Who's that guy on the right? Ah, oh, Traveler's Tales. You can have those motherfucking gems. Your boy It's fine not looking at that. That, 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 that jewelry. He's fine with just the crystals. He's not a sport boy. He's fine with just the crystals. <sighs> Seven hours, 25 minutes. So if we take away the initial like start of the stream when I hadn't started playing, if we take away the pee breaks, if we take away the emulation glitches that required stopping to fix. I know you really who knows i don't think they're ready for my times like i don't want to i don't want to embarrass everyone this is a blind playthrough and i i just caught world records so you know it's, it's a bit i don't want to embarrass them you know let's just leave it for now oh my god thank you for the donation Oh my gosh. Oh. So yeah, what was I? Once you subtract all of that shit, the stream was under seven hours. So yeah. That's it, it was under seven hours. I'll calculate it. All the emulation glitches, the pee breaks, the, the setup time, every second I was reading chat and not playing, that was under seven hours. Final thoughts on the game. The game is very mid. Very mid. It's not horrible. You know. I'm feeling a five to six region on this. Definitely not a seven. I don't want to say definitely not a four because there were some moments I thought like giving it a four, but like it's like a five to six. Like a five point five, you know, like it's okay. You know. But, like, if you grew up on the trilogy, I don't see how you could play this and be like, this was just as good. But different strokes, I guess. I'm sure there's people like that. Huh. Do I get anything? Like, is there, like, a... Is there, like, some kind of extra shit? Win sanity win. Is that the one that comes after this? Um, yeah, I'm um, close that. Close that. We're done with all that. Um, let me see actually. Um, Crash Twin Sanity. Yes, yeah, so I thought I played this as a kid, you know, because my friend had it, but maybe I didn't. Maybe it was a Twin Sanity disc in a Wrath of Cortex case. You know when people like have a bunch of games and they put the, a disc in the wrong case? Maybe I had the Wrath of Cortex case but a Twin Sanity disc. Because I definitely do not remember playing Wrath of Cortex. But I know I played a Crash game on PS2 because I borrowed my friend's PS2 for like a week. I'm starting to think it was Twin Sanity just looking at the area. I don't know. What other Crash games are on PS2? Aside from obviously Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity.
Yeah, I think it, I think it was Twin Sanity that I actually touched. Because even the music sounds kind of familiar. Oh my god. Ugh. Tag team racing. It's definitely not tag team racing because it was a main like game. Um, Pram, I told you it will take us. Actually, you said it will take fifty hours, so you're still wrong. Um, but yeah, we're done with that. For now, we're not going to do that for Road to Crash 4, but I'll eventually play a Nitro Cop. Um, so the next one is definitely to Insanity. Then it's Crash of the Titans, Mind Over Me. Wait, so the games were on PS2 and 360? Why was it on PS2 and 360 in 07? Why was it not on PS3 in 07 and 08? I don't get that. Why would it be PS2, 360? Oh, well, I guess the 360 port would be a better port then. It's the next gen version. Why would it be PS2 and 360? It feels like 05 when 360 came out and there was no PS3. This is like 07, 08. I don't know. Would you ever recommend it? What, this game? Oh, no. No. Like, I'm very tolerant when it comes to like games like this. Which is why I finished it. Even though people said I wasn't going to finish it, the same people that are saying, I told you it will take seven out. Like, no. You said I wasn't going to finish it. You lot were wrong. Okay? Accept defeat. Your boy beat the game. Anyway. I don't know if I can keep doing this. Twin Sanity. Crash of the Titans. I mean, it's three games, right? It's July now. We have August and September to do three games. Yeah, so if I do Twin Sanity in August, Crash of the Titans in September, and then, um, hold on, let's see, Crash 4, release me. No, not that Crash 4, the real Crash 4. 2nd October. So, yeah, we bang out Twin Sanity. I need a break from this because that was painful. We bang out Twin Sanity in August, right? In September, we bang out Crash of the Titans. And then, like, just before Crash 4, Mind Over Me. Okay, I actually, I want to need some time for it. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I think Mind Over Me wasn't difficult. It might not be that good, but I don't think it was hard. Question: Switch handheld or docked? I always play handheld. I only play docked when I'm like streaming or recording a video. Always play handheld, especially since I got. Wow, I hit a cable. 
That was embarrassing. Especially since I got these premium cons. I feel so nice in the hand though. Why would you even want to play it locked when you got this? Dun, 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 dun. Let's get some chill music in there. Let's get some some chill music in there to end this shit off. Um, no, not jungle rollers. Um, I think it's um yeah, sunset vista. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, let's go with the original one. Hmm. Despite the game ending, I feel like I can't go to bed until I hear those words. <laughs> Don't worry, we're, we're about to wrap up right now. So it's only like three to four hours long. Well, this one took me six hours and 59 minutes. So I don't know if that time's gonna apply to me. I feel like playing Crash 1 now. Crash 1 is so good. I don't even, I don't even feel pain when I die in Crash 1 anymore. It's just so, so lit. Can you believe it? I spent six hours and 59 minutes beating that game and I still managed to spend another 37 minutes chilling with you guys. I'm so nice. Anyway. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Can we expect a discussion video about Ralph and Toxics? Ah, I don't know. You know. I mean, it will come up in like once I, when I'm talking about Crash 4, you know, the real Crash 4, it's about time. I'll obviously relate it to like the games that I've played, so Cortex will come up, but I don't think I'm gonna make a dedicated video on it because I already gave you guys a stream which took six hours and 59 minutes plus some extra shit that we don't have to talk about. But thanks everyone for tuning in, thanks for the support. Hey, hey, this song stats, I don't care. It's an amazing stream, been here for six hours. Yeah, I've been here for six hours as well, literally. So, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. More content coming soon to the channel. Um, check out my Remulus Roundup video because, well, that fucking bombed, so. You know, I have to plug it naturally. It was a good video. And yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to be dropping soon. I have one video I want to edit, actually. Yeah, we'll see. I might have one more video for this week. I haven't actually streamed any Tsushima since the first stream. I haven't played it since then. I need to go back and play that. I'll probably play it on my own time. Right now, I'm catching up on Assassin's Creed. So I'm going to do some of that, which is why I'm probably going to take a break from Crash for a few weeks before I get on to the next one, which is to Insanity. So yeah, I'll take a break and I'll come back to Insanity later. I'm gonna get back on my Assassin's Creed. I mean, just post it. I'm not gonna stream Assassin's Creed anytime soon. Is this my longest stream ever? I mean, it's definitely my longest on this channel, but is it my longest on my old channel? That's the question. Um, actually, I wanna check that right now. Four hours. Okay, no, I had one stream that was 7 hours, 58 minutes, 29 seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, if you guys like watching me play Crash, check out my Twin Brothers channel. I can't believe I'm plugging that, you know. Let me see. Yeah, I did a stream where I played Crash 1 blind. You can check that out. It's on my Twin Brothers channel, so... No need to subscribe to him. And then I actually did another stream which I compiled into a video where I played Crash 2 Blind. This is OG, not insane. So you can check those links if you want to see that. I usually don't link to my Tim Brothers channel because he has enough clout. But I'll make an exception because that's Crash. But yeah. I'm taking a break from Crash, I'm gonna play some AC on my own time. Maybe some Tsushima on my own time. I'll let this stream process and I guess publish it later on in the day because it's like 4.30 in the morning. So yeah. 
I'll probably keep it unlisted though for those of you who want to see it. What was the old channel called? Oh, uh, I think he called it Premier to Rami. Um, no, Premier, my auntie's gonna play some such a last year. The thing is, like, the thing is, like, I'm making peanuts anyway, so, like, I might as well add some ads. Because YouTube regulate the ads anyway, so they won't show you more ads than what they deem is too much. You could, in theory, spam ads every five seconds, but YouTube will be like, we're not showing all of these, you know? They'll just decide which ones they want to use, so... More spamming doesn't actually mean anything. It's like, there's like a cap, anyway. I don't know what the exact cap is, I think it's like... I don't think you see more than one ad every 10 minutes. Well, now they've changed it to eight minutes. So I think I don't think you can see more than one ad every eight minutes. Your channel is much better than your twin brothers. Thank you. I know you hate to hear that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm, just I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just so happy that I don't have to be playing and I can just chill. I have to get into the end of the stream. Maybe I just wanted to break my streaming record. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Seven hours, fifty-eight minutes, twenty-nine seconds. Or at forty-one minutes. I'm not. I'm not staying alive for another seventeen minutes just to break a record. That's that's just dumb, you know. Like, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna end the stream. This is my second longest stream that I've ever done. My longest by myself because that stream had like guests and shit. So yeah. Can I see your twin brother right now? Oh, he's sleeping. I mean, eight hours is like a third of a day. Man, yeah, that's crazy. Good thing I only spent six hours and 59 minutes. I like streams more, this was fun. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do with the real Crash 4 when it comes out. Because like, videos might take longer to get out. Whereas a stream, I could just play it and just finish it on one go. Hopefully not as frustrating. Dun, 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 dun. I guess I, I have to feel it out. I, I have to feel it out. We'll see if I do a stream for that or, or a series of videos. Pro probably a stream. Probably a stream. I don't know. Because that means it'll be instant. Like the moment the game unlocks, I, I pre ordered it digitally. The moment it unlocks, I'm just gonna like start playing it. Like chill. I think, well, yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll do, I'll do it all in one stream. Well, actually, that game said it was gonna have like 100 levels. So maybe Crash 4 will not be a one stream. Maybe it'll be multiple streams. Maybe I'll do it in... I don't know how long the levels are going to be, though. You know? We'll see. Maybe the reviewers will tell us before the game comes out. But if it's going to be more than a one stream job, maybe I'll do it in two streams or three streams. Maybe I'll just bang it out in one go. But yeah, I'll stream it, and then what I'll do is... I'll try and come up with like some highlights or something afterwards and I'll make that into a video so you guys get the best of both worlds when that comes out. There's not going to be a highlights for this stream though because I cannot be fucked to watch this. I guess your video allows you to focus more on your thoughts I guess and you could do edits but last stream when you get my beaches. Yeah like, I don't know. Because it's crashed and there's going to be a lot of fails, a video means you can just edit out a lot of the fails. Which makes it, I guess, more entertaining to watch. But in this very competitive climate of Let's Playing, where people are literally just like, the moment the game comes out, they're streaming it. Plus there's time zones as well. So Australia are gonna be streaming it way before UK. UK are gonna be streaming it for US, if it unlocks at midnight. It's like, for you to do a video, you're already gonna be late because everyone's already streamed like half, maybe even the whole game by the time you've recorded and edited your video. So, it's kind of hard to do video unless you're already a big channel that has the clout. That being said, if everyone's going to be streaming it as well, so you're still going to get lost in the noise. Either way, it's a new game. You're going to get lost in the noise. It's inevitable. So, I really don't know what to do. Stream and do stream highlights. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards stream and do stream highlights. Because another annoying thing, because I did this, my twin brother did this when there was a new game. He did videos, and what happened is he couldn't even beat the game the day it came out, because he had to record some of it, stop, like, edit those videos, get it out, before he could do the rest. So it took multiple days to beat the game, even though it was a game that could be beaten in one sitting, right? 
Whereas if I stream it, I can do it either in one stream or two streams max. I'll aim for one stream. If I have to do a 10 hour stream, I'll do a 10 hour stream. trying to break my stream record there's still 13 minutes left and i'm not gonna stream for another 13 minutes da -da 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 -da. Okay. now now i really ended up this shark is a bug though oh Thanks everyone for tuning in. All right, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. You ever learned after after you cross the four hour mark, you get flamed by the chat. Chat does get weird after a few hours when once it gets to them real late hours, but you know, it is what it is. I'm really on this. I'm just bad at ending streams. I, I literally I'm just bad at ending this wig. It's like hanging up a phone, but then. But multiple people are watching. I don't know. It's just really weird for me. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Thanks, you guys, for watching. The fuck? That's the wrong intro. What the fuck am I doing? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. But it's your boy, Rem. Remulus. Rem Gang. 